Podcast, man. Episode 68. I almost forgot for a minute, man. We got two special guests in the building. Well, three. Shit. We got uh three three two six nine chives. We got P Dot. And good? we got their manager Brandon. What up? What's what up? It was cool. I put your gum out there, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't know you went by your IG like, damn, I ain't put this nigga whole shit out there. <laughs> God damn, fuck my man up and shit, bro. Told his wife he was going somewhere else. <laughs> but shit, man, before we start everything, said, pause. <laughs> before we start everything, though, we do a uh, salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for motherfuckers to pass away and die before we give them their flowers. But the only thing about it, it can't be a regular, average mom, dad, brother, sister. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a relationship, you gotta be somebody out that box. So, uh, if y'all want to go, start off. If y'all want me to go, I'll start off. You said you wanted to know who we wanted to give our flowers to? Yeah, but it got to be somebody outside of Somebody outside normal. my, some outside the family members yeah, and stuff. Yeah. I want to give my flowers to my to my manager. Okay. Um, he, You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we've been knowing each other, but I got to give him his flowers. You know what I'm saying? Because he works really, really hard for the team. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Insomnia nights, nights, night. He's not sleeping while we resting well. He's working. You know what for I'm sure, saying? So sure. I just want to give. And also to my team, my, my, my partner over there, Bishop, you know what I'm saying, for believing in us. You know what I'm saying? Investing in us, but... Other than that, you know, God too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, God always, is always. God too, God too. Gotta to. keep him first. <laughs> what about you, Charles, man? Um, say outside the box, though. Yeah, because it's Outside the family hey, members. Hey, everybody always say, you know, shut up, mom. Moms, like, yeah. Moms, they should have no love. Um... Shout out to my, um... Shout out to my high school coach, Coach Craig. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, since... You know what I'm saying? Since day one of being under his teaching leadership, you know what I'm saying, as a youth. Yeah. You know, a lot of uh a lot of lessons that he taught me on the basketball court, you know what I'm saying, helped carry on outside it. For sure, for sure. And uh, you know, he just one of them cats that I know that anytime like we see each other, it's always love and respect. Yeah, hell like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him and, and his clothing line. You know, he do the clothes and everything too, I know now. So, um, yeah, shout out to him, man. And he, you know, he's one of the best fathers I've ever seen. So, yeah. you know, shout out to him for always being that, you know, that uh, role model, man. And hey, people be sleeping on that, too, though. I be telling my kids all the time, dog. Like, when you hoping for a team. Or should you, I say that positive image? Yeah, when you're on a you know team, like, saying? if it's basketball, football, like, that shit wind up translating to real life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, that's some real shit right there. I'm going to, uh, what about you, dog? Who you got? Uh, my pastor. Shout out Pastor Bill. Liberty Temple. I had a very close relationship with my pastor, so yeah. appreciate him a lot, man. He always praying for me, always counseling me there any time I need to make a phone call. So that's what's up. My pastor. See, that's what I was gonna say at first, but my pastor is my uncle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you could did that. Just, just no, no brothers or sisters or nothing. Right, like that, right. Because right. I would, I always give my flowers yeah. to brother. Yeah, I'm sure. a, uh, before we get to y'all, my my, shit, my salute gonna be to uh, S J and A J from the Connected Experience. Okay. Uh, the twins, man, they some dope dudes. I met them just doing this podcast stuff. They d gave me my first interview as, as far as like, you know what I'm saying, not being the person, you know what I'm saying, conducting the interview. So I'm going to shout them out. Uh, SJ always reach out, see how I'm doing, what's going on, supporting everything I'm doing. So uh, I'm going to shout out the twins, man. SJ, AJ, connect the experience. Go check those boys out. So uh, before we get to the music, man, like I don't try to get straight into it. I want to know, you know what I'm saying, the artist background or whatever. So tell me how it was growing up, like east side, west side. Who was in the crib? Like, how was it being a young P. Dot and a young Chaz? Um, well, I, I, I was born on the east side over here, um, back in Sheridan. Okay. Um, you know, my, both of my families was on there. They was, one was between Mac and Sheridan, one was between, so, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, Mac and Sylvester, other one's between Sylvester and Canfield. So oh, yeah, all I had right to do was run up and down the street all day. You know, I stayed over there until I was eight years old. Went to Jones Elementary. It got tore down now, you know. The street is basically vacant, but it's still, you know, some few few houses over there. My grandmother's house still stands. Yeah. Um, you know, um, that's where I got my first appreciation for watching the the dressing of the hip hop culture. My dad used to wear, you know, the Turkish links, have his hair curled for <laughs> yeah, to the back. Yeah, for sure. Levi's, Concourse, Best Friends, YBI. I yeah. saw a lot, you know what I'm saying? And then I moved to the west side where it was the back then it was the burbs for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? You go over there, it was mostly whites over there. Mm -hmm. But um shouts out to Marsh Elementary School. I went to Cody High School, graduated. You know what I'm saying? That's where I got my my start in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I was battling around the table. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, basically caught my bug right there, and it's been on ever since. But 
growing up, I had a house full. I had yeah. like 11, 12, 13. Like all my family was in one house. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mom and dad? Um, no, my mom and dad broke up uh, okay. before I moved to the West Side. My dad, he had went, went, on, went to prison. You know what I'm saying? And my mom had to hold it down. Yeah, for sure. My brother basically stepped up and filled those fatherly shoes. You know what I'm saying? Made sure that I got my grades. Right, you know what I'm saying? Made sure that I did everything I was supposed to do because mom had to go to work. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. My brother held right, me down. Yeah. So, you know, shouts out to my brother, man. That's my that's my brother and father. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I got one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you got that brother that yeah. be on your head. Like, you know damn, what I'm saying? Man. But I appreciate him now. I used to did. And I used to be like, man, damn, leave me alone. Like, you're my brother. Right. Yeah. <laughs> God, but now yeah. I really love him. You know what I'm saying? Because he put a lot of stuff into me. Like, listen, school, grades, go hard, whatever you believe in. I got your back. Just don't quit. You know what I'm saying? And to this day, you know. Know, he lives in Huntsville, Alabama, but I still get a lot of love from him. He sent me and, you know, say, keep going, stuff like that. And also for my mom, you know, she preceded me in death. Um, okay. In 2010, she had Arrested an aneurysm. And when she was 51 years old, she had an aneurysm. Yeah, that's crazy. My mom passed away from an aneurysm at 50. Yeah, yeah. 51. She yeah. died uh, in October of 2010 on Sweetest Day, actually. Oh. But, you know, that's my fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know she watching to see everything. I get a lot of visits from her in my dreams. You know what I'm saying? And she say things. But I know about her watching. You know what I'm saying? I can't hide nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, she always was one of, one of my biggest fans in everything I did. But, you know, I can't even really complain about childhood. Just normal, hard-headed shit I used to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Getting into fights. You know what I'm saying? Uh, gang banging. <laughs> little crazy yeah, shit. But, sure. you know, it made me who I am today. And I'm I'm very appreciative of it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, as long as you learn from it, that's the only thing about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As long as you learn from it. What <laughs> about sure. you, Charles? How it was in the crib, dog? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Born and raised east side. You know what I'm saying? Um, for the most part, you know, most of my memories all come from... Eight Mile and Grassford, and then uh, my father's side and my grandma's house, mm -hmm. um, which uh, self explains Club Shirley's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I kind of like, I feel like I kind of like got the best of the both worlds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because being on my father's side, uh, they was more like Motown, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Soulful era. And then on my mama's side, um, my family is in the church heavy. Okay. So okay, it was okay. like, I've always been the type to adapt and be a part of my surroundings. Yeah. But due to the leadership of my family, you know what I'm saying, from both sides, I kind of, you know, been blessed to stay out of a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. So, for sure. Hell you know, yeah. It's like the best of both worlds for me. Yeah, yeah. Now, but both sides is musically inclined. So, okay. like, that's been since birth. Now, when y'all was some young, it's like outside of music, was there anything else? Like you said, the hooping. Was there anything else y'all had passion for that y'all thought, like, this is what I'm going to do when I get older? I was just on my phone. I with. never planned on hooping when I got older. I knew this. Was, I knew it was a high school. <laughs> <What you> mean, <laughs> like I knew, I knew it was a high school Man, thing. Cause no like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. We had real stars. You know what I'm saying. So it was well, like was that, Harper Woods. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Hold you on, it was, I remember it was, just, it was just dark skinned dude, uh, point guard. Bruce. Yeah, Bruce was cold. Yeah, Bruce I, checked, I had to check Bruce for three years. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Bruce was I had nice. to check that dude like, for three Bruce years. Bruce was nice man. at 11. I remember seeing him playing. We were playing Fresh at the Wild, dog. I was supposed to go to that school. I stayed right yeah. across the street. I couldn't go though, cause my 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 side went to Gross Point North. They side went to Harper Woods. I was right across the street from that boy. So yeah, I was supposed to go there, man. But yeah, Bruce was nice though. They yeah. had a nice squad too, overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was the truth. Yeah. After, yeah. after us, there was no more. <laughs> what about you? Uh, what about you, P. Dot? Was there anything else you you thought about as a young and like that you wanted to mess with? Um, I always grew grew up uh, telling my mom I wanted to deliver babies. I wanted to be a, a obstetrician. Mm -hmm. Um, and I did work in the medical field all the way up to a certain point. But then it was like, okay. Yeah, I'm not about to be going to school all that time. Like, mama, like, you know, you got to go to school for a long time. I'm yeah. like, it's cool and everything. So I, d I tapped into the nursing. I went, you know, I still got my medical background and, um, you know, CNA, medical assistant, stuff like that. Sure. But I ultimately, you know what I'm saying? It was music that took a hold to me. Like, when I when I went to Cody, I was in a marching band. Yeah. And I learned how to play some instruments. You know what I'm saying? And we was able to take trips, go to Southern University, Jackson State, stuff mm -hmm. like that. To go and I fell in love with that. It was just live, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm like, I want to do some music. Mm -hmm. Then um, when I went to Cody, Slum Village was there. You know what I'm saying. Dwelle was there. You okay. know what I'm saying. KDZ was there. You know what I'm saying. So it was a lot of barring up and stuff like that. You know, battling and you know, getting it in in the lunchroom. But yeah. you know, 
It went from, okay, doctor to... <laughs> yeah. Be in school, be in school forever, pay back Uncle Phil. I mean, you know what I'm saying? At the point, I'm like, make it make sense. Like, yeah. shoot, you know? But like, yeah, for sure, for sure. I could always tap back into that whenever, though. Yeah, now tell me, there's a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, we got musical influences from our parents, what they playing when they making pancakes in the morning, you know what I'm saying, yeah. cleaning up the crib. Mm -hmm. You listen to all your good stuff, you know what I'm saying, during those times. Yeah. What was some shit that y'all was liking just due to y'all parents, but not y'all? Mm. Um, my mom played a lot of Frankie Beverly and Mays. Classic. Uh, she played a lot of Prince. Yeah. Um, the time, you know, um, Morris Day and them. I, um, Stephanie Mills. Uh, yeah, that's how I ate my crib. You know, uh, <laughs> she was listening to 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 Barry White. You know what I'm saying? My mom used to listen to Babyface, mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She she listened to a lot of R&B. But what surprised me though is once I got into my high school, she liked the Chronic and she liked yeah. <laughs> she liked Dr. Dre and she liked Tupac and Snoop and them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was like certain people. She's like ah 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 ah. But then when I was like, mom, she's like, okay, well, I can let you listen to that. But a lot of the times it was old school listening to them, you know, talk and playing cars late nights. You Hell know what yeah, I'm saying? I, sure. it, it was that 92.3 yeah, back yeah, in the day yeah. that, that he used to listen to would be raining outside. And stuff. <laughs> I used yeah, to love that. Classic. I used to like to watch them chill out to that, you know? Yeah, classic members get, uh, looking at like, damn, I can't wait till I get old enough to be able to hang yeah, with them. Yeah, you, you have gotta, to get kicked out the yeah. room. I have to leave. Or, the truck, like, I know me, if I was downstairs, you can't say too much because if you get in a conversation, you're about to get punched yeah, in the face. Yeah, either that or get out, you know, because you in grown folks' business. That was my own. Always say that you yeah. grow folks miles. Go find something to do. Man, nine o'clock come. Get your ass upstairs in the room, <laughs> wherever, basement, wherever you sleep at. You better be Fuck somewhere up. looking <laughs> at the ceiling. Hell yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker cry like damn. I wish I was down there, motherfucker. Right, dog. they getting it in. How we gonna go to sleep? Man, they drink, they drink a beer, drunk, <laughs> fighting, fun. arguing, all that Man, shit. oh my god, and I had a lot of uncles too. It was nine. I had nine aunties and uncles. Man, or at, at one point in time, we all were in the same house, cousins, everything. It was Hell always yeah. something. That'd be classic though, classic. What about you, a child, man? Who who would you like in cousin mom? or pops or something like that or brother whatever oh uh, yeah i came up a lot under my uncles um so at a young age i felt uh i had a I'm like johnny taylor yeah you know what i'm saying johnny taylor can spirituals mighty clouds of joy yeah um pilgrim jubilees you know a lot of quartet music mm -hmm. a lot of soul like old school quartet for sure um as far as the old school yeah all of that um Barbara Mason, mm -hmm. uh, the list goes, yeah, yeah throw all this red, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The list goes on, just all the Motown, all the Motown acts, yeah, like yeah. always, and had that. And like, cause I used to be on punishment a lot. Yeah. So <laughs> look, <laughs> so look, I used to be on punishment a lot. So one thing that I peeped. Like very like very young in the game mm. was like when I like had a radio on because of course you can't have nothing on. Yeah. When yeah. I have like rap on, you know what I'm saying. My mama used to come in tripping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like cut it off, boom. Right. Yeah. But when I had like some 92.3, right. yeah. Or you know what I'm saying, yeah. like yeah. some some yeah. old school, yeah. she like wouldn't even bother it. me. Yeah. Right. So due to being on punishment, that's all I listened to. Yeah. So I used to be in class just. Coming out of nowhere, like I don't even <laughs> know. I don't like, man. just out of the blue, like yeah. So but yeah, it's, it's been deep and since young, man. Yeah, yeah. Now you talk about she was saying you the uh, you know turn that rap shit off or whatever. Who was the first rapper y'all fell in love with, bro? Like as far as they music, like my Jay, shit, Jay, Jay. See, my, see, y'all want me thugs. My shit was MC Hammer. <laughs> Hey, listen, I used to test some routines up. Me and my cousins used to I get beat. You got to think, I'm five. We used to make up. We used to think we was three, five, seven. Yeah, I'm like five, six years old. My parents don't play rap music, bro. I don't home. know why, but it's like every time they just say hair, I just... Yeah, I, I just was think, the man. I just Andy think of them leopard drawers, dog, no. with the bumps, uh, bumps, bumps in the trunk. Bumps in the bumps. Yeah, bumps, yeah. bumps, bumps in the bumps. bumps. Hey, that's when he became a thug. That's when he became a thug. That's when he became a thug. What you talking about, dog? Thugging it, baby. Dog. That ran 22 million. For man, real. He put the hood on, for real. For real. So, yeah, Hammer. I watched this story like eight times. Hammer was your guy, huh? Hammer and Hood. He used to do the dance. I'm trying to. Shit, I told my dad to give me a haircut with all the parts of the side. With the on the side, oh, you was getting was it with the curls. You man. put the curly kid in there too. Shit, my shit was too straight for the curls. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was only like, like I said, I was about five, six. So my right. mom, my mom was like, said. you get a good pork card, you get whatever CD you want. I'm like, bet. Hammer, yeah, it, hammer, hammer it boy. Is. Brought that good pork card in, got the MC Hammer album. Boy. That, the two albums I remember is that Hammer, uh, you know what I'm saying, You Can't Touch This, mm -hmm. and Criss Cross. Yeah, Criss Cross. The, I like Criss Cross. Because I wasn't able to. I, I started off late listening to everybody. I had to go back. Right. So like, mm -hmm. when I was like 12, 13, my first album I was introduced to, for real, was like the Hot Boys. And then okay. it was like 400 right. Degrees Juvie. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but before that, it was Hammer, though. Hammer time. You can't touch this too legit. Don't play with Hammer, man. And Everybody was doing and, that and, then. And we prayed all oh, them good songs, what? bro. And Will Smith too. Uh, he, he, in the, he in the history books. Yeah, yeah. see the man. And he put he his whole man. hood on. That's why he, he got man. broke. Like, he everybody on the, on the stage doing the hammer dance. Hell everybody. Yeah. I swear I can't watch that video without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> man, I swear, it's so dog. stupid. That's my and it's not like a bad song, but it's just like how he's like, so, like, serious. Like, so serious. So serious. Man. So serious, dog. And I'm in that mother like, oh, it's the hammer thug now. Like, I'm in this bitch like, oh, it's like cold. Man, man. Just had leather shoes. Man. So play with Shout out to my nigga Hammer. And he had the cartoon <laughs> with the talking shoes. Dog. <laughs> Don't play like yeah, he did. Man. 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 Lit. Hell yeah, for sure. <laughs> he like did. I said, I was that was that was the the strip was in the shoes. <laughs> Hell yeah. I remember so man, give me this uh, give me a song. Cause we always do this shit at the crib when we got uh company over and jump. We just getting to know each other, whatever. Give me a song or an album. Every time you hear it, it take you back to this to a time, like a a clear a clear a time clear as day. Mm. Like as soon as you hear this song, I'm like damn, I remember I was with Keisha. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a couple albums with that. Yeah, give me, give me, give me one out. Wait, you just and you take me back to that time, dog. Get rich or die trying. Yeah, classic. What that? What that? What that got you thinking about high school? Yeah, high school. Get rich or die trying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. It's a couple like the Carter when the Carter dropped. Oh yeah, it was, was in that new like that. You know what I'm saying? Person, right? Yeah, yeah, like. It's a couple, man. Yeah, that Carter was a classic, boy. Even, I even remember uh, when the Izzy Brothers dropped Body Kiss. <laughs> I with that one, man. man, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember it because I had, like, you know, going to Harper Woods, you can walk right through Eastland yep, 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 to yep. go on the side of Detroit. Yep. So when I walked through Target, that album had just came out. I was walking with a female. I was taking her home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me give me a little CD, you know what I'm saying, to throw on when we hit this basement. Got the Isley Brothers, you oh feel me? Oh, my God. You say hit the basement. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Whole That's album, man. fire, hell yeah, so <laughs> relaxing. Duh, he said on the way to. You know the what I'm saying? Like, I would yeah. say her name, but I don't want to, you Ooh, know. Wait, some, no, no. But yeah, me, body kiss. Let me get some mood music going body on. Body kiss. <laughs> what about you, P Dot? Um, let me see. Uh, my what I used to listen to a lot. I listened to the Bread a lot, the Funk the Fat album. I remember that. I used to listen to her a lot and stuff. That made everybody start wearing the ponytails and stuff again. Mm -hmm. um, the Chronic album. I used to listen to Chronic and Doggy Style, like Snoop. I was a West Coast head. Yeah. So I listened to a lot of that um, when I had my little boom box and my headphones. Mm -hmm. And those times that you had to go to bed but wasn't sleepy, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I used to go yeah. in there and put that on to put my headphones on and just be like, just imagining myself, you know what I'm saying, doing... But you know, anyway, um <laughs> <laughs> you, watch, you got memory lane like yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I also used to listen to Red Man a lot. I liked Red oh, Man yeah, a lot. Yeah. Muddy Waters, uh yeah, yeah, Doc's yeah. the name. Sure. I really liked them a lot. And then I was a crisscross, a heavy crisscross. Yeah, fan. Say, come on, y'all know y'all heard y'all. I used to wear my like I didn't I used to get all the way in character when I was a fan. Like I used yeah. to wear my pants backwards, I had my shirt jacket backwards. On backwards like, especially when yeah. I went to the concert. My mom took me, that was one of my first conf, conf, concerts to go see. We saw a crisscross and a brat. And uh it was yep, they, them two was opening it up. And they were so live when we was Man. at the Fox. Hell yeah, Chris. I never forget pro. that. Yeah, rest in peace to, uh, what's it, Chris yeah, the dark, Kelly? Yeah, the dark skin one. Yeah. He passed away, he had like, some type of cancer, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my, that was my shit, though. I used to love Chris Cross. I remember that started. And we can't, and can't forget the Blueprint. Mm. Yeah, Blueprint, yeah. That's, to me, they, they clown me, but that's my favorite whole album. I'm talking about can't forget the Blueprint. Like, is it really fucked up? Is that, that's how I remember 9-11? <laughs> no, because mm -hmm. that's when it came out around the year. Right. Mm -hmm. No, it came out on that day. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember not finding out day. about this, the, the shit till like, later in the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was listening to that album, I like, the that. whole, like, when the sun was out. Yeah, hell yeah. So, shit, y'all you, touched on a little bit, but who was some artists once y'all got y'all on ear for music and y'all wasn't just listening to shit y'all parents was playing or your uncles or, you know, whoever was around? When y'all got y'all on ear for music, who was the people, who was y'all go-tos? 
Um, I used to like to listen to Keith Murray. Keith mm. Murray a lot. Um, also, uh, I used to listen to the Goody Mob. Oh yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, CeeLo and all of them. Mm -hmm. Um, I had, I used to like the Tennessee. Like, I listened to Project Pack and Three Six oh, Mafia. Come on now. That's my you know what I'm saying? Green, like, it depends green. on come my on. mood. Come like, on. I wake up be like, I'm gonna break the law. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna put some Project on. You know I what I mean? I remember I used to be walking the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> the hallway. Boy, yeah, yeah. The song called Break the Hell Law. Yeah. Boy, but he tear some stuff up. I Bro, I remember I used to be walking the hallway at Gross Point North, dog, with this one chick. I guess my brothers and them thought she was a little hoe or whatever. So every time I walk down the hallway where I'm holding her hand, he'd be like, don't save her. She, <laughs> she don't want to be saved. Dog, like, Damn. And, yeah, she want to have a lot of kids too, man. Shout, <laughs> shout, shout, shout them out though. But no, Project Pet. Yeah. Yeah. Against, shout the kids had, out. Yeah, Gangsta Boo, all them, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what little oh, check? Hypnotize mask, yeah, little check. Yeah, I was, I was on. I, was, no I like, era. I like that. Yeah, uh, the pigeon, the crow, pigeon. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, no uh, pigeon. Uh, what's my man? Sporty things. I don't want no pigeon. Yeah. Yeah. That was some hating joke. Yeah. Like, why y'all just can't let TLC live? You know, like, you gotta come back with the because they said y'all some scrubs. Oh, they got the tools. What about you, bro? Besides Hov, like, who would you? Who, give me, uh, tell me this though. I like that. You know this. A top five, but without the obvious. Top five without the without obvious. the pop without Nas JB you know what I'm saying just some people that y'all love that ain't got to be on that Mount Rushmore. Mm. I got one of those. I like Ludacris. That who? Scarface always Oh yeah, Scarface. Good. He got number two. Oh shit! All right, give me. You start. You you ready? Give me your five. He, he ready. Right, he Go ready. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go do you. <laughs> My one is you know a classic, but it's definitely controversial for hip hop heads. Big, my favorite rapper. Okay. And Scarface two, uh, Pac three. J four. He said not the them. obvious. Scarface is the only one out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you oh, you said because everybody gonna be the same. Without the obvious, everybody, everybody, everybody gonna be the same. Jay, everybody yeah. say big. Everybody say pop. Well, my going to that second five. Jetty kisses in my top ten. Okay. okay. Ghostface Jetty. killers in my top ten. Ghostface. Yeah. Being sequels in my top ten. Being sequel. But Seagull could have been better uh, than what he was, though. I think it was like I don't know. I think they couldn't market him for real. That's why he couldn't blow up as much, you know, as a, cause my, I think, I, I love Freeway. Yeah. That Freeway album was a yeah, classic. Like Freeway. You know what I'm saying? So what's y'all top five, man? Ooh, mine's, I don't know. I'm staying out of that. Mine's, <laughs> mine's Snoop, DMX, Wayne, Cube, and then my, my fifth one would probably be, uh, yeah, Cube too. yeah. fifth, uh, it might be a top between like, like Jada and maybe T.I. Okay. Cause niggas sleep on Ti though. Yeah, they do. Like they forget about his his body of work though. He yeah, got like yeah. they was trying to say Jeezy would kill him. Like nigga, y'all. I don't know. That would have been a good one. That would have like, been a good one. Like, cause cause yeah. Ti got some got some fire. Nigga sleep like, on Ti. Like he got commercial and trap. Like hell yeah. He, anyway, like, yeah, he yeah. lame. <laughs> big 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 projects, big songs for real. Mm -hmm. What about you, man? Since you know P Dot can't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can do what I'm thinking. I want him to go first. Cause I listen to a lot. I probably but... go with. Um... I know it's gonna change every day. The next show, y'all be like, damn. Uh. <laughs> it do change. It, do, it change. It all change. Time. Cause I just like the way I'm thinking is just who I just always consistently listen to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's how I'm just thinking in my Ice head. Ice Cube gets something a lot. But it's yeah, like it's like so many artists match with different phases. But I mean, I did always listen to Jada. You know what I'm saying? I always listen to Meth. Meth has always been a favorite of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, First I thought she had Myth. I'm about to say No, I met the man. No, I met the man. <laughs> it was cold though. Yeah, it was cold. Yeah, it was cold. I was cold. I was talking about Met the man. Okay, um, yeah, he go for sure. Fab, you know what I'm saying? Always rock with Fab. Yeah. Uh, Royce. Royce gets something. Always a been too. a Royce fan. You know Outside what I'm saying? Detroit, I think. So dumb. Yeah, I definitely think. You know, that's the big. And um, it's like a tie a little, but I. Gotta go with Luda. Yeah, Luda. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Boy, Gotta go with Luda. What was that first album? Um, Cause I ain't never um, missed a Luda album. Back for the first album. time. Um, back for the first yeah, time. Back yeah, back for the first time with the good back throwing the balls on it. Dog, yeah. yeah. I make niggas eat dirt and Man. fart dust. Oh. Hell yeah! See, I told you, phones gonna ring. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! That used to be my shit. We used to have them ciphers. Man, Luda. I mean, I used to try to steal that just to say I was a rapper. If niggas didn't hear that album. Well, I'm going to go females because uh, every time people always say top five, they don't never throw no females Damn, right. in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm tired of that. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to have to give it up to Rhapsody. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, have to, I have to definitely give it up to Rage. Um, I have to give it up to Eve. You yep. know what I'm saying? Give it up to Remy Ma. Okay. Um, I was a Mia X fan. Definitely was a Mia X fan. Yeah, I loved yeah, her. Yeah. Uh, and um, let me see. 
You, was that five or was that four? Yeah, but that was five. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. okay. A Baltimore. <laughs> you said who? Now, I'm surprised you ain't saying like uh, light. I, thought you I mean, light. it's obvious. I mean, everybody say like, light because yeah. it's, it, everybody, everybody right. say. I did say not the obvious. He said right. not the yeah. obvious. Because right. 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 I was saying it's like a classic boy. Like everybody say the obvious. They always say Queen Latifah. They always say. Uh, um, they always say um, MC Light You know what I'm saying Yeah Rhapsody she got I, I like Queen Pen too Like a lot of people Were sleeping on Queen Pen I listen to Queen Pen a yeah. lot Cause Rhapsody like, outbar a lot of niggas but, For real Yeah she do And that's that's the I think you know what I'm saying People scared of that They're yeah. scared of that Hell they don't yeah. want to get a females, they flowers. Oh yeah, yeah. That's how we. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a female one. That's how. <laughs> Just because she kind of like said, damn, that made me feel. I mean, a little because bad. every time we do have, you know, yeah, we, you everybody never... say they top five. They always say all oh, guys. Yeah. They yeah. always say all oh, guys. They'll never throw a female in there. Hell yeah. So tell me this. Why you, why you, why you think that? Like, do you think a female can sell records without selling sex? Yeah, it's been plenty. It's been, it's been. Like plenty in this of, day. In this day, yeah. Because I was like, because the only thing I could think, person I could think of is Rhapsody. I mean, yeah. I mean, because, you know, a lot of the times it's gimmicky now. You know what I'm saying? Music is so gimmicky where it'd be like, okay, yeah, Um, I, I feel like it's just like the little man complex to me. Like, mm -hmm. you go show a little ass, you go show a little titties <laughs> if you ain't got no bars. Like, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't bar up, but I got some of these. Got, you know, it's easy to do. The, you know what I'm saying? The plus, it's, a, it's an easy distraction. You're like, you know what I'm saying? If you're pretty in the face, you got breasts, you got booty. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go around here just like, you know, do my little city girls rapping in. I'm just going to clap my ass. Like, yeah, that's what I got some albums but if you put make them put their clothes on yeah let's see how you do with them they, clothes they, on. they're gonna be looking crazy but it's gimmicky like... you know what i'm saying it's easy to do that so it's like to to not take the obvious role you know what i'm saying it's easy for a woman to go and go six like you know what i'm saying because we just looked at like that mm -hmm. but you know i appreciate the women that's not afraid to say okay listen i want y'all to hear what i gotta say y'all sure. can look at me later you know what i'm saying like but listen to what i gotta say so yeah. the only way i can make you listen to what i gotta say is to cover up and not distract you yeah yeah for sure then surprise them when she's like damn yeah i get that a lot like a lot of times i have uh, real talk like i mean dude i, I will every now and then hit y'all with a little uh soft porn you I know mean. what i'm saying but you know i go i'm not lying like you know you know every now and then you gotta hit them with a, oh i'm gonna do this give y'all this because yeah. i know i can but, but damn i know she can spit but god dang like yeah do you know how many dudes are sitting there you know let me see a little ass let me see a little <laughs> titties or something I'm like, damn, why? so you can go jerk off like a perv no yeah, hell yeah. That's what they trying you to ain't gotta do the little jerk you a jerk what's that what's that on new boys and shit terrible self all right man what shit man Let's get to y'all. Y'all, when y'all started making music, get to y'all. Y'all story about y'all music life and shit. At what age did y'all like? You know, saying like, damn, I wanna, I wanna do this music shit for real and start, you know, saying recording or whatever. Um, I was in the seventh grade. You know, what I'm saying I had uh met my best friend at the time, uh, Turks dude. You know, what I'm saying my brother still to this day. For sure. You know, 3269. We had uh, formed a group called the D Boys. Okay. You know, what I'm saying so. We um we just started like. In his mama basement with a karaoke machine and a tape player. Throw back, hell yeah, you know right what I'm saying? Now. We'll make little tapes. <laughs> yeah. You know it's what I'm saying? Up, no. <laughs> yeah. Be quiet, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> you feel me? We'll make little tapes, bring them to school, let yeah. people hear them, you know what I'm saying? And then from there, you know, of course, you know, cats want to, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and battle in the lunchroom and all mm -hmm. of that type of stuff. So we end up getting the attention uh, like the office, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. where they start putting us in like the Black History programs. Okay. And then on top of that, I'm already like a part of like out out school activities anyway, like yeah. gospel choir and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, and um like being a part of the talent shows and all of that type of stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, it was like by the time eighth grade came, they was canceling fifth and sixth hour just for us to do a yeah, concert. Yeah, just to be yeah, do, yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying, like. Eighth graders, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like when you think about it, it's kind of fucked up because they like y'all ain't even gotta learn. <laughs> yeah, just go rap. Y'all gonna listen to these little <laughs> niggas yeah, rap yeah. about, man. you know what I'm saying? But hey, we loved it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We loved it, man. So uh, from there, you know, it just carried on where to the point, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. niggas really just wanted to pursue it. Sure. But at the same time, it was just music. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. no business knowledge or yeah, just not wearing a star or nothing like yeah. that. It's just like putting together mixtapes and CDs 
Just to bang in the hood, basically. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just like when you hooping when niggas say, yeah, they, they most fun in them AAU days in high school. And then yeah. when they get in the league and college, it become a business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when I took, like, even I took a, a step forward, like, to go to college for media production and everything. Mm. But, like, due to, you know, just a young-minded, you know what I'm saying? The young-minded D-boy, it was just like, I found myself just in the same slump just doing there. Like, I got, I'm looking at it like free studio all day. Yeah. yeah you know what yeah. I'm saying? But I really don't care for engineering. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know, so instead of going to class, I'm just about to go to the studio for three hours and then yeah. go home. Yeah, and for then, sure. you know, like to say whatever activities come after that, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always been like a constant, like, strive. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Oh yeah Towards Like this common goal That I'm still working towards now That's what's up So I'd say up. since 12 What about you Doug Like what was your uh, At what age you wanted to really Mess with the music for real Like on, on some real stuff When it wasn't like a hobby anymore Yeah Yep Um, I'd say I probably was Was 19 mm -hmm. Um, When I was like Okay we doing it for real Because at that time I was signed to a label At that time Okay and uh, we were actually doing shows out of town, North Carolina, doing the summer jams, opening yeah. up for G Dep, Puff Daddy, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Uh, um, it was then, but I didn't know the business. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I just was having fun and, and finding, you know, fulfilling my passion, just hitting the stage and writing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that it was more to it. You know what I'm saying? But up until like maybe like six going on seven years is when I started getting more business minded. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It was like it's not just about. Uh, just making the music is about okay. I don't need nobody stealing my ideas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nobody stealing my name. Yeah, I don't right. need nobody stealing stealing anything from me and just making it where it's like okay. I wanted to be, be around for a long time. If something happens to me, God forbid, then I want to still be able to be here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Make yeah. a legacy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Leave something behind that people could tap in whenever. You know, but you said summer jam. That just got me. Yeah. Throwback, like the heart plaza for free. No, not, like I'm gonna tell you when when I hit I hit it back when they used to do it for free yeah. at Rudge. Okay, that's over the hill. Yeah, 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 I was young. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And then yeah. then it went down to shame. You know what I'm yeah. saying? See, no, it, it, went, it was a heart plaza. Yeah, it was heart plaza. Yeah. And then it went to Pontiac, it Pontiac. and then yeah. it went to nah, uh, just, shame. Nah, it but, cost money and like, come on, man. Yeah, but when it when we was doing it at uh, it was for free to 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 get the real used to slap so hard on summer jam <laughs> days. Like you just had to get there really really yeah, early yeah, and yeah. uh. You know, and that was a really good experience. And then we we was like hitting it as every time it, it relocated, we were hitting it. You know what I'm saying? All the way up until CEO went on vacation, if you know what I mean. But um, <laughs> yeah, right. he went. He was gone for a long time too. Mm -hmm. So it was like while he was gone, I was still you know being an artist and stuff. But I was working with my crew. But it's like we ain't know the business. He knew the business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the relationships was his. So it was like we can go and go tap in. While he's gone, we had to really wait, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, and build our own relationship. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but now it's 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 serious, you know what I'm saying. Now it's it's fun, it's you know what I'm saying. We we making music that's gonna be around for a while, you know what I'm saying. So for sure, for sure. You know, what's just, what's your what's y'all uh <coughs> what's y'all writing process, dog? Like how y'all how y'all like approach a song? Like do y'all like have a beat first? Are you already writing? And you just taking it hook? Like how what y'all approach to writing? Usually, I get the beat first. And if I got a chance to vibe to it, I basically just go with a, go with what it basically tell me. Mm -hmm. You know, if that makes any sense. No, no, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the beat can talk to you a lot. I already know it. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, I already know I'm about to write to this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? What about you, Duck? Well, it used to be where I used to be able to take the beats home and live with them. Yeah. But up to date, like recently, I've been met with opportunities where I had to write on the die. Yeah. So it, it was something that I had to adjust to. Like, okay, I used to be able to take the beat home. Okay. Like that with now. It. But now, psh, they want it now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you got to go in there. You got to get it. Psh, you know what I'm saying? And it's something that I'm glad, you know what I'm saying, that Scar, you know, put into me. And also, Chaz is real cold at on a, on a dime stuff, too. So it's like, okay. That, that that helped me level up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That helped me sharpen my steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I but, can't let yeah, him do I this. Like, I gotta come back. Like, <laughs> We usually get the beat, you know, listen, and then, you know, we just get the toying around. Like, a lot of times with Chaz in our process, we have been in the booth together, and he'll mouth some stuff, or I'll mouth some stuff, and we'll be like, okay, mm -hmm. that's the hook. Yeah. And then we'll just start writing from there. Like, you know what For I'm sure. saying? Yep, so, it yep. just depends on what's going on that day. Like, yeah. usually the beat does move me and oh, make yeah. me speak. Now, your uh, first time in the studio, because, you know what I'm saying, it's easy to rap in a room. It sounds good. 
then that first time in the studio, you like, dog, this shit didn't come out with nothing like how I did in the room. Mm -hmm. Like, how was y'all first time in the studio? How good or bad was it? I had to, um, I'm not Our I'm very be... first time? Yeah, very first time. Oh, I was the shit. <laughs> <laughs> My very first time, I ain't gonna lie. I had, to, I had to redo it because it was like I had to learn how to make it believable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know how um, you were right, and then I wanted to recite it without sounding like I was reading. You exactly, know what I'm saying? Exactly. I had to learn that. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I started when I was very, very young. So coming out the gate, I didn't know to come out like, you know, I'm just like reading it like you sound like you're reading. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I had to learn how to perform, yeah. get comfortable and be happy with what I put on paper because mm. I'm known for going back and be like, I will overthink some stuff and be like, dog, that ain't it. And they be yeah. like, that's it. Leave it alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'll be like, no, I want to change this one little piece. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's always that moment when you get home, you be like, I could have said that better. I could have said that. You know? Mm -hmm. But it's always. now, you just got to trust and, and trust what you do and be like, okay, that's perfection. That's it. Boom. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I had to repeat. I had to do some takes. You remember yeah. me? Punch, take, <laughs> take real? it back. Yeah. Hell yeah. Until, until I got used to it. But now I'll go in there and I want to take it something. Sometimes I mess up and it's not always in one take for me mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but a lot of the majority of the time i go in there and i, I ace it yeah yeah now what's some shit y'all need in the studio you know what i'm saying some people need need chicks we drinks water like people no people what? just I, for me i just need positive vibes like i don't, I don't it's like basically that. whatever the studio allowed me to do yeah the studio yeah. the majority of the studios be like yeah or they be like just like, go I around just that corner or, yeah, yeah, but yeah, for so. me i um i don't like uh like a whole bunch of people there that ain't there to work. Yeah, for sure. You just know what I'm saying? Just, like, just dog, you just in here just loud talking. I'm trying to think you over here like, God, 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 like, dog, you can go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Close like, session, bro. Like, you, you know for? what I'm saying? Yeah, what are you here for? Hell yeah. So it just be like, if you're not here to work, bro, I really don't need, or, you know, just respect the artists. You know what I'm saying? Respect us working. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can be there, but chill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let us do us. You feel for me? Sure. Now, we, now, to talk about that, your first time in the studio and, and recording and everything, who was the first person y'all let listen to y'all first song y'all recorded? My mom. Mm -hmm. I told her I was cussing a lot. <laughs> she wanted to hear it though, cause she like, okay, cause I had to ask permission, cause I was young. Yeah. Can I go? Yeah. They coming to pick me up. Who are they? Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? My mom was yeah, that mama. Me, Who was that nigga? Give me some numbers. Yeah, yeah, I, need, I, yeah, I need to see. I need to know. So when I used to come back, she used to be like, let me let me hear what you did. You know, mm -hmm. you was gone a long time. Let me, yeah, yeah. You know give what me I'm some saying? <laughs> <laughs> mama, but yeah, she yeah, she was the first. She came to my shows and stuff too. I used to be like scared. She used to be like, act like I ain't here, but like I can't. You my mama. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, cussing yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. What about what about you, Chaz? Um, y'all y'all remember One Touch Studios? Yeah, it, it was one Eastland, wasn't it? No, nah, it was right there oh, what was on that? Um, Six Mile and Grasher. Yep, yep. No, I know exactly. That's what it wasn't used to be at. My man, the bus who, stop was. Uh, yeah. he 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 moved down to Atlanta. Boy, here, dude, used to be in the, in there. Oh, like back in the day, that's, that's where the first. That's where my first session was at. You know what I'm saying? That's where our first session. You know what I'm saying? Was at. So it was like, you know, the the cast that worked there. You know, they was kind of like the first persons. You know what I'm saying here, and we had them rocking. Yeah. So we took that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my middle school, Burbank. We took that to the school. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just ran with that. Yes. Yeah. So, so yeah. who person that can keep it real like man, child? But this shit I can't say like I can't relate to the <laughs> I can't relate to the mama thing. Like Yeah, yeah my mama wanted my to mama mama just found out I rap like two my years ago. Want me to be out there <laughs> flopping and <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But no, who can keep it real about y'all music? Who y'all go to people like if y'all want a, 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 a serious critique or man. and not nobody just hate like somebody My brother. Okay. Said, my brother who, would tell me if it's somebody who could tell y'all like my this brother ain't would it. tell me like this ain't it or you should do this like somebody you take your music to to get that that feedback and you know you gonna get some real shit. Scar and my my brother would definitely my brother be like sis like one more time you know what I mean yeah. one more again like he ain't did it in a while but like when I was younger and I was coming up he like what you trying to portray like he ask me questions like so what you want the people to get from this you know what i'm saying i'll be like damn oh, like so you know? the, that's the dad brother right yeah that's the dad <laughs> brother you know what i'm saying but, but to this day like when i'm finished projects i we he he's one of the ones that hear it first outside of our camp mm -hmm. i actually send him the whole thing like bro listen to a little with it he be at work he'd be like yeah he'll send it back he call back and tell me like that's what the fuck i'm talking about you know what i'm saying yeah. or he'd be like that one now you want hard on this one he'd tell me his favorites you yeah. know what i mean but yeah, that brother don't have no problem biting that tongue until you was some garbage, baby. <laughs> yeah. He don't what about, care. What about you, Chaz? Uh, for me, it's always been, like like she said, it's always been my brothers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The whole squad, uh, my actual real brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My older brother, like I always been. 
Like, he the reason I actually started the rap. Yeah. So, it's kind of like being up under his, you know what I'm saying, leadership and guidance. Okay, okay. So, it was like, you know, his opinion always mattered. Yeah. Terse yeah. always said what was on his mind. Yeah. It was funny because, like, when we was younger, like, they all used to get on me because at first, when I first started writing, I didn't cuss. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's how I tried to be different. Yeah. Because yeah. they was just so... Gangsters, <laughs> like, sure. you know what I'm saying? You supposed niggas, to cuss. Them niggas was working yeah. on their second, third case at that time. You know what I'm saying? Man, man, for sure. So I'm like, you know, you know, I'm being me. You yeah. feel me? I'm being me. And they used to be in the studio, like, hey, cause you gotta say, bitch. Cause yeah, say something. Like, say it. Say what you gonna say. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, man, it's more clever this way. Yeah, you know. Sure. Yeah. And it was crazy because it took like ten years for them niggas to be like, hey, you was on. To something, dog. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, you know, they just mm -hmm. get blown. That shit just came out of <laughs> nowhere. Like, hey, for real though, you was on to something back then, yeah, though, cuz. Yeah. You know like, man. you know what I'm saying? You always <laughs> stuck with your shit. Yeah, now, Brandon, man, how did you meet these two and, and what made you want to work with them, dog? Um, pretty much just working behind the scenes as a promoter, a uh, journalist to some degree, because I have a uh, podcast in my own right four corners okay i kind of do it when i feel the urge yeah. um, so i don't do it as consistent as most of y'all do yeah and then um doing open mic showcases i uh, used to do the hundred ground hip-hop awards okay with my partner uncle p yeah and we had that going for five years so through that work i came across them booked them at times they mm. came and did cyphers with me did interviews so just took a liking to what they had going on and felt like they just needed a little extra help yeah yeah hell yeah so that's what's up. That's what's up. So what made y'all want to mess with uh with Brandon? Like, like y'all trusted him to uh, manage y'all and all that's good stuff. Well, for me, um, like I said, we had a business relationship. You know, um, I first met him when he, when they were doing the Underground Hip Hop Awards, mm. um, doing shows at the Bullfrog and stuff like yeah, that. Him and Uncle Frog, P. Like um, but they 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 had they had the, their quality of shows was not it wasn't thrown together it was like they had they they pick you like yeah. they hand pick who they want to come through mm -hmm. so it's like if you got hand picked then it's like oh wow like that's a big thing because yeah. uh, they don't just have no anybody yeah, give me on the show you can be on the show yeah they don't yeah, they, yeah you know everybody else be yeah. like twenty dollars to sign up you can jump around <laughs> fall flip on your head they don't care mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying <laughs> but them they wanted some real solid shows anytime yeah. they put anything together so it was like. Wanted that they, money too. They, they yeah, did, but it, was it wasn't good. money. It was just the door fee. It was worth it. Was yeah. You know, it was the you door fee. Like pay at the door, sign up, get here in time. You know what I'm saying? And then too, just dealing with uh, janky promoters over time, it was refreshing to run across people who really had a feel and love for the culture. You know what I'm saying? It was had a love for the underground because we were underground. We wasn't like you know, we wasn't like the the, the top brands, the Rocky Bass, the PZs, and everybody. You know what I'm saying? We were building. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just felt good to have people who respect the underground grind. You know what I'm saying? And and knew that you know we was we was here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. anytime that they reached out and said, you know, we got this going on. Look, I used to be like, don't you ain't even got to ask me. Just tell me when, where, how many songs. I'm there. You know? Oh yeah. But sure. over time, you know, we were doing business. Like that over time, like I want to say, like three, four years, and then um one day I actually was about to give it up. Like I was just like, okay, I Done felt like it. I felt like I did enough. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um uh, he came to me like, shoot, what are you missing? Like you know, ask me questions that you know I needed to be asked. Like you know, what was it was going on with this last situation that turned you off? Because at the time I was really turned off of it. Like I'm, I did that. You know what I'm saying? But. He was like, you want to give it a last real shot? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, you're going to have to invest. Like, yeah, he kept yeah. it real with me off the top. Like, yeah. it's going to take money. It's going to take this amount. For sure. It's going to yeah. be this time. We're going to have to, you're going to have to stop shooting with the with the bullshit. You're going to have to go over here and put some money to your visuals. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to start recording over here at Joe Blaze. You're going to have to go to Mix Factory. You're going to have to go to Silent Riot. You're going to have to go over here. So it was like, ooh, like, okay. <laughs> like, I yeah, must damn, you, hold yeah, on, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I believed in myself to the fact where it was like, all right. If I was able to do it with the bullshit, I can go ahead and get real serious with it. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? And we just, one last shot. You know what I'm saying? And I trust them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I, I really trust them. That's what's up. That's what's up. What about you, Charles? What made you want to put your trust in Brandon, man? <laughs> Common sense. Yeah, you know what I'm saying he know more people than me. Yeah. <laughs> he know, you know the business too. Know the yeah. business for sure. Common sense. Know sure more simple. than I do. Yeah. Know the business. Know the people. Yeah, you, you know need that saying? though. That man know what he doing. Yeah, you know, and not only do he do it, 
But he hound you to prove that he did it. Yeah. And to prove that the proof did it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, this is what we like, doing. This is, it did that. Like, it goes that deep. show you. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's common funny. sense. I yeah. ain't stupid. Hell yeah. You, and if you need those people to, like, it, you know. As a rapper, you could be dope as hell. And but too, you ain't he's not a yes man. Yeah. So I appreciate Cause, cause that. Because you could be dope, but if you ain't got the resources, if you don't know where to go, you just going to be a dope rapper that they, you know, got a few thousand followers on Instagram. And mm, be happy that's with that. That's it. That's it. But, but he like, do you want more? Do you just want to be here? Or do you want to go? I'm like, shoot, I want to go out. He like, well, then we got to do this. This, this is what it's going to take. Yeah. And every time he make a move, he show, just like Charles said, he show us. Every time he do anything, this is what's going on. This day, this day. The calendar stuff, the you know what I'm saying, the talking to the people. Like I yeah. told him when I first started talking to him, you know, doing the business with him, I said I don't have a lot of patience yeah, for people for and sure. bullshit. Yeah. So I'm gonna need you to be the talker because I will go the completely the fuck. Off. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, know what I'm saying? You, like just you need them then. Last yeah. off, yeah, because I'll be. I told him from the jump, like you, you good at talking to people. Yeah. I need you to do that for too. Sure. I can't do it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> now we on the show, man. We usually do like top three, top fives, depending on how many tracks you got on your project and stuff. I'm gonna start with you, uh, P Dot, with uh, Problem with Child Two. Just came out what uh, two days ago. Yeah, yeah, just came out uh, two days ago and stuff. You got uh, ten tracks on there. Mm -hmm. So I want, I want you to give me your top three and why. Mine's is uh, my time, a nightmare on Sheridan, and uh, do that dot. Okay, that was my three on there. All right, what's your top three on there? Um. I like uh I like activated um okay. simply because it was something that's already out and I just wanted to take it and make it my own you For know sure. what I'm saying flex my muscle a little bit yeah uh I like the uh intro the the first song what's the name uh it's deeper it's trouble before progress, trouble before progress. Yeah. um and. I like ASAP the outro. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's a dope project. So it's part two. Yes. Okay. What made you uh What made you start off with the problem child? Like you was always that that heathen. No, I just, <laughs> yeah, in the music, in the music, yeah, yeah. I was, the, I, was, I was the heathen right. in the music. I was yeah. the one that always went against the grain. I did what the fuck I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and you can't tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, it's no, you yeah. know. So I was the problem child. Uh, just basically because I was not doing what everybody else was doing. I was For doing sure. me. You know what For I'm saying? Sure. They tell yeah. me. But uh, it was just honestly a way of showing people that I can uh, I can, I can beat Jack and make it my own. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I just also wanted to give get, do stuff that people said that I couldn't do. Yeah, for sure. Like, the Detroit's bad girl, all Detroit flavor. You know what I'm saying? Because people was like, I want to hear you rap on Detroit beats. I'm like, dog, like, that's everybody do that. <laughs> yeah, that's So it, it took for him to say, just give it to him so they could say that. So they can't yeah. say that you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where the problem child came from. That's where Detroit's Bad Girl came from. And the freestyles, the videos, the, the majority of the freestyle videos. So that's basically like a lot of freestyling on Problem Child 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. My Time was a full a full song. Yeah, uh, Nightmare, Nightmare on Sheridan, Sheridan came yeah. off of Detroit's Bad Girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's full songs. But it just was to show people that I could freestyle and then I could give you just a little bit and keep you wanting more. For sure. Um, For sure. But yeah, we just had to, I had to hit all avenues because I'm just a straight battle rap, straight gangster. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And he was like, "Let's give him a little bit more." A lot of people's like, "I want to know a little bit more about you." Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I had to open up my world and be a little vulnerable. I don't yeah, like being sure. vulnerable <laughs> too yeah. much. Like I don't like that, but I had to. You know. Okay, okay. Now with you, child, you you got a project coming out soon, right? No, I dropped a project called yeah, Club Yeah, Shirley. I was about to say, okay, Club Shirley. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was your most recent uh, project, yeah. and you had 19 songs on that boy. So uh, I did a top five on there, and mine's is uh what Sunshine Skillet, mm -hmm. uh that, cause that just remind me of my I life. I love that. That remind me of my life. <laughs> I love that. Like like That's being in the crib with your cousins yeah. and just dog, everybody right. sleeping on the twin bed like yeah. damn. Full time, I mean the pull out bed dog. Yeah. I was mad. Feet. Yeah. Like damn cousin. <laughs> Who feeds these? Did, did you watch? Did, did, you, did you watch up when you got in bed? Did your feet in your face? <laughs> Hell yeah. So it was that one. Uh, Coney Island. Uh, deeper than music. Uh, walking in line. And then I got a uh, split between uh, Crown Royal Diaries and uh, Sweet Sadie. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. good yeah man, come on, I fuck with. I, like, I don't, I don't have people on the show just to be like, yeah, you on the show, but don't fuck with the music. Man, <laughs> I appreciate the that. The person that uh, picked deeper to rap, and I appreciate that because early on when we dropped the project, yeah, it had got like a little mixed mm -hmm. opinion that particular record mm -hmm. song. Uh, some hip hop nerd shit. Yeah, yeah, that shit was cold. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, Your top five on that boy. Can't really uh, 
You like, nigga, all them bitches, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pick on your own stuff. I go with ambition. Mm-hmm. Um, social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was hard. Um, footsteps to heaven. Sweet Sadie. Mm-hmm. And I mean, ride with a D boy is a fan favorite. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'll probably go with instead of that one I go with uh probably Young Luther. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, now what's like this came out in twenty twenty, right? Yeah. What's uh what's been the response to to it, dog? Like have people been showing love? Like Yeah, I've been getting nothing but love. Mm-hmm. Like it's going it's going up every month. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Now, now what what's the uh what's the uh what's the next project you you, you, you got working on? Uh Coney Island two. Which mm-hmm. is an EP collaboration between me and Oh, yeah, we P-Dot. gonna talk about that in a minute. Yeah, hell mm-hmm. yeah. I got some shit to say about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna talk about that in a minute, dog. So yeah. that's, that's, that's the next thing? Yeah, for yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, as far as, like, new and what's really, like, coming up, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, we got this one uh, segment, dog. We talk, it's called Talk About the Bars. Now, if I bought y'all shit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's cool. I'm just writing it down. <laughs> but So, uh, Chaz, on uh, on the song, In Too Deep, you say, uh, put your kids in, in positions, open up businesses. Life is about guns and butter. Baby, fuck the silly shit. Like, I might fuck that shit up, how I said it. But, that was me. Yeah, talk, Somebody yeah. say In Too oh, Deep. My bad, my bad, my bad. I said Chaz. <laughs> I, I said P. Dot. Yeah. yeah, my bad. So, we'll talk about that, because, like, me and him always talk about that shit, like putting your kids in position. Right. Like open up business. I think y'all was somebody on the show earlier and shit, like because niggas be tired of working for corporate America. Right. Like talk about talk about that that that, that bar. Um, because I am a business owner. Uh, I, I I'm a hair braider. You know what I'm saying? And also, um, I'm I run Dot Gang LLC. Mm-hmm. And so it's all about getting all the scuffs, bumps, and bruises, and doing all the hard work. So mm-hmm. any event that you do have children, you got something to leave behind, teach them something, you know what I'm saying? So they don't have to work as hard. Like uh, growing up, you know, watching my mom, you know what I'm saying? She worked for she worked for the other man, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. Even if she got sick, they be ready to, you know what I'm saying? You get sick, you can't, they don't care, they'll replace you, you know what I'm saying? In a heartbeat, like, yeah, you know, and day. then when I seen when she passed away, it was like, yeah, they came to the funeral and sent the little flowers, but shoot, somebody got to get in that, you know, somebody yeah, did that right. job. Yeah. Hell yeah hell so yeah. it's like, damn, I'm like, y'all really don't give a fuck about us for real. Like, <laughs> no, they don't. I'm not about to be spending the rest of my life working hard to send somebody else and their kids exactly. on vacation. Exactly, making somebody instead. else's like, business real. I want like, my yeah. own shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I want my own shit. I want to break that curse of you having to work and, you know, breaking your, breaking your back. You too old. You can't hell even yeah. enjoy life. Like, for sure. Can't you just, you just kids working. Up you, you yeah, get, you, get no, you can't even enjoy the fruits of the labor. You know what I'm saying? Cause you always working, you yeah. know. So it's just like you know the guns and the butter. Like I remember that line from Baby Boy. Yeah, when he was, was like, saying, "Life yeah, is about boy, guns, guns and, and butter. butter. The guns is the stocks, the bonds. Yep. You know the the shit that appreciates with value, and the butter is just the houses, the cars, the bullshit yeah, that bullshit, don't mean shit yeah. after you buy it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you know, even though my mom worked, my mom worked for the post office for 35 years. So. You know, that was kind of like a back-breaking job, but she always put it in me when I was little, like, Pam, you know what I'm saying? I don't want you working for nobody else. Yeah, like, hell yeah. She taught me how to braid. She went to school, learned how to braid, taught me to hustle, and then was like, that's for you. Yep, you know what yep. I'm saying? And so that's what I do now. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's just about just putting your kid, putting yourself in positions to be able to let your kids silk it. Like, the rest of these people silk it. Shoot, they family kids silking it. They driving Infinity <laughs> trucks. <laughs> yep. They going to the best schools. Like, yep. shit, why ours can't have that? Yeah, all because of us. Cause yeah, because we, we, yeah, like, we on the line like Ford the Chrysler. Yeah. Like, fuck that. Shit, working, make working, your own yeah, Ford Chrysler. Working 12 hours, probably got your one hour to yourself. Your own trucking company, your own. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Get your own shit together. Hell yeah. Now, you got another one, uh, Do That Doc. You mm-hmm. say, uh, 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 bitches swear they won't beef until you bring the Angus. I'd rather be insta rich than insta famous. Right. Talk about that. You already know that shit. It's all about tell people, like, cause a lot of motherfuckers, they think being on Instagram and, and that shit is it. Cause that shit, like, the way, the way I say, well, I'd rather be insta rich than insta famous is like, you can be famous as hell and be broke. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? We sit up and watch podcasts and other stuff. I like, I research, you know, a lot of, I listen to a lot of interviews. And they be like, you can see like with the Black Rob situation, he mm-hmm. passed away, but he was known to everybody, but couldn't even really bury himself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Homeless and all type of stuff. Like, 
having 200 and 300,000 you can buy that you can yeah. buy views you can buy you know what I'm saying yeah, for sure. but I'd rather have the money like the, <laughs> the rich people you don't even know they rich you know yeah. what I'm saying they out here living it up you don't even know they rich you know what yeah. I'm saying yeah. you don't know nothing about the the, uh, the one in the back of the room you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. that's why I say I'd rather be insta rich than insta famous hell like, yeah now you gotta touch on this one off of uh off of choices with your moms and stuff when you say like, uh success is always goals stay shooting bigger learn every hustle so you don't depend on a nigga or d don't need a nigga right like that so that basically explained early when you was talking about your moms yeah and and the, and the businesses and what she she taught you how to do like yeah she's a single you know um I, I got an older brother like i said and both of our fathers you know they're alive but they wasn't as active as they should have been you know yeah. what i'm saying or could have been yeah for sure um they were some selfish guys you know what i'm saying but my mom had you know, always told me like Pam, like don't don't you see me doing this? Don't don't be me. Be better than me. You know what sure. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, learn everything you can so you don't have to depend on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't learn as much as you can so you don't be on the num nobody's thumb. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Nobody controlling you by what they can do for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And as a female, it's like she she even instilled that in my brother. Like I'm gonna need you to learn how to cook. I'm mm -hmm. gonna teach you how to sew. I'm gonna teach you how to wash clothes. I'm gonna teach you how to see, iron. See, females so out in there, don't that event that you don't you, yeah. you don't get a female. That do that you Man. know how to do that for yourself my mama told me one thing and meeting a new chick when you go to her crib if her bathroom or her kitchen dirty then nigga run for the run for the run for the border like, like, run for the real. damn border like, like for real my father <laughs> like like my dad has my dad has severe OCD yeah, yeah, so yeah. like he is like the one of the cleanest guys like for sure. you know me I love my father you know what I'm saying I just accept him for who he is you know what I'm saying he was a father at 19 years old really ain't no shit but yeah. Okay, I set the for who he is. I still love him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I go visit him. But he's one of the cleanest men I've Man. ever met. Like, he, he do not... Man. Like nasty. Yeah, when shit. I met my wife and I see how clean she was, I was like, thank, attack. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Like everything clean in this motherfucker. Yeah. Kitchen. Because you know how motherfuckers be taking pictures of they, what they cook in the stove. Got big ass Can't grease cut. Build up. Yeah, mold, meal do, no. crunchy old food. For real, dog. So yeah, I'll be happy. I appreciate my wife being a clean motherfucker, dog. Yeah. I don't mean to call you motherfucker, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he knows she know what yeah. you mean. <laughs> now now, now that, that that goes to uh Chaz, man. You said something I think we all can motherfucker. Uh, 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 value and understand. He said, a woman bring you value, a bitch will bring you down. Real women's hard to find is a bitch in every town. <laughs> yeah. Hey, talk about that, dog. Like, what you been through, dog? <laughs> he said, what you been through, dog? <laughs> what you done been through? Man, what's up, man? Got to, bro. Got to. Yeah. Nah, man, like. <laughs> you know, I've tested that water a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? Dog. And uh, you just learn with experiences. You know what I'm saying? And as as I got older, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Luckily, thanks <laughs> be to God, I got wiser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I start to know the difference. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, just about the things that y'all was talking. Mm -hmm. You know, some like to clean, some don't. Yeah, right? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Some can cook. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, don't out. know how to cook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's a difference. It's a difference. Come on, my, my, uh, my wife. cook. But they don't know how to cook. Yeah, come on, wife. Yeah, always say that. His, he, she said his, her mom always cook with love. I didn't got cussed they out for not love. eating the cabbage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, you too young. You yeah. feel me? If you ain't 62 <laughs> with high blood pressure, I ain't <laughs> touching it, baby. <laughs> I ain't touching it, baby. 62 with high blood pressure. Why blood pressure got to be high? You too no. young up in here talking about here this cornbread and cabbage, baby. <laughs> that arm ain't jiggling. You no. got that extra fat under there, like ding ling 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 ling. Hell yeah. I'm telling you, yo. <laughs> if your gown don't come to your ankles, blue. baby, no. it Damn. ain't silk. <laughs> hey, tell me this though, because I remember it ain't my, silk or royal blue. I, don't, I can't mess like, with I remember my man. grandma and my mom used to be oh, like, dog, you can't find me a chick, don't eat, eat no that. spaghetti, no red sauce food. Y'all never heard of that? Yeah, I heard of it. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, they nah. put that voodoo on your ass. It, I, shit, I, <laughs> I mean, like I, I say, I my family. I ain't that serious, man. Like, my family <laughs> always been, been strict on like. You only eat, eat when we cook. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't be going to Just be careful, you know? Yeah. I um I can recall a uh a, a um person uh at like at the church I had grew up and they had a story about how one of their neighbors was selling dinners. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they were selling dinners for a long time. <laughs> and one day one of the kids was happened to be playing with the other kid and he had to use the bathroom. Yeah. So he went, you know, they, they let him use the bathroom. For sure. And he seen all that meat that they be setting sitting right in that tub. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> 
She been feeding the block for five <laughs> years, baby. Last five years. No, you got a motherfucker feeding that motherfucker that dog, man. Damn, yeah. what you been just scrubbing and crunching? Yeah. Hell Put yeah. All your dead skin. God he damn. Put the meat in there. Motherfucking pubic hair in that that's disgusting. Yeah, like I say, it was a person from church telling us the story. <laughs> now like, I think she was telling us to it. to relate to you gotta watch plus pray. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I man, think that was like the whole too. moral of the story. Yeah, man. Oh my All right, God. you got another one on coin out you say uh black talented and gifted and still let my, my pants hang, trying to come up that as in the right it's like what? Trying, trying to come, come up, up like, like the, the exit in the, in the right, right lane. lane. Now yeah. with that one when you were talking about like you, you know what I'm saying With your pants hanging That kind of tell me like You know what I'm saying Just cause you got this This presentation That don't mean you about to get like No thug It's still D-boy Yeah That's all That's all I mean It's still D-boy Like I mean don't get me Don't get me wrong I ain't I ain't like What's being done now Where You know The skinny jeans Is to the ankles <laughs> With the big <laughs> I can't stand You know what I'm saying With up. some um, What's the little fur With the fur inside Oh shit, the uh, 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 shit. Uh, you yeah. know, I ain't, I, like I ain't known that sagging type stuff. <laughs> yeah. But I'm a fat, I'm a fat Uggs. boy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm a fat nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, you feel me? I ain't never been the type just let shit hug my ass. Like I got <laughs> I was, I was raised by hip hop. Yeah, you for feel sure. Me? Right. Like, I was raised by hip hop. Like I gotta have a bag to my shit. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I got to have some looseness, baby. Like yeah. that's how I always some been with my looseness. basketball shorts and all that shit. Yeah. Like I just now got into the little t-shirt phase, but I'm at the crib though. Yeah. You know, I you ain't going to just you know. Yeah. <laughs> like that's I'm at the though. crib with the, the shirts, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like hell yeah. That's funny as hell. Yeah, so it's just like don't judge, you know. Like I can I can present and be presentable in a respectable manner and still be D boy with it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. So hell just yeah. don't judge. You know, you can just judge me off because of my pants ain't. But once I open my mouth, you see I got some common sense. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You hell know? yeah. And we all trying to come up. You know what I'm saying? And the only way to come up on the freeway, you got to hit the right lane. Hell right. yeah, for sure. Got to. Unless you trying to go on 94 and shit. <laughs> That's gonna be mad as hell. That be mad as hell. <laughs> Cause 94 that shit You be mad as hell You gotta so speak that, to that bitch yeah, That was just you, a, you know what I'm saying get, That was just like out. A clever metaphor Yeah for sure You know what I'm saying I felt that everybody Would catch like instantly When they heard yeah. it Now when you say this one dog Cause it got me thinking About this hoop dude And he If he didn't get hurt Nigga it would been lights out He's I've been trailblazing Like Brandon Roy Nigga swear <laughs> he got that work But still look unemployed like niggas still on Brandon Roy though, and niggas still be swearing they yeah, man. He like, was nigga, one of my favorites. No, like even his, Kobe said, yeah, like, like his injury always would be like, cause I be, I always took up for Brandon. No, Kobe and he always delivered. You know man. what I'm saying? And it was like, you know, Lillard came through so cold. Yeah, and I just always think like, like dog, if him two? and Lillard oh, got nigga. together, dog. Nigga, it'll be a lights out. No man. disrespect to CJ, but you he know what I'm saying? Guard. He can yeah. defend. You know what I'm saying? If they had them, and then you had Lamarcus Aldridge, dog, like. And Brandon was one of the few guards that nobody tested. Yeah. Like, you can't just go on YouTube and find too many, like, altercations with Brandon. No, no. He yeah. got his respect. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? Hell yeah. It's just like Tony Allen. You don't see niggas fuck with him. Niggas know you about to get, or, or Zach Randolph. Like, you know who the goons is in the league. For real, for real, dog. Yeah, but no, that shit, right, yeah. Somebody gonna send me 18 Brandon Roy fights. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, I found that. Yeah, yeah, just to prove that. you wrong. Now, man, <laughs> now, y'all, uh, y'all collab album, dog, Coney Island, man. Why y'all do that? Like, like, I'm saying, now, why y'all, why y'all go and murder every song like that, dog? <laughs> like, oh, that's how you feel? Cause, that's like, how you feel? To me, the, the, what I appreciate about it, dog, is y'all took classic beats and, and made me forget who was rapping on them because y'all came, like, y'all came that hard. You know oh, what I'm saying? Wow, so to me, Thank like, you. with y'all too, hey, I ain't saying that shit because you can ask him. I'm like, dog, these niggas had uh, some shit that was hard. Like, on some 100 shit, though, like, real talk, uh, before it, before y'all even came down here, dog came in, he said, like, dog, I think that was my man that pulled up because I heard that shit. Yeah. I heard y'all playing that shit. So was y'all playing y'all music? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's what I knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, dog, he was playing that shit, dog. That shit hard for <laughs> it. Yo, man, Coney Island <laughs> shit. shit before y'all came like, down. Like, didn't know y'all was outside. Yeah, and then that shit was hard. And then on the actual Coney Island song, I like what y'all did on that last verse on y'all Jaden Styles back yeah. and forth yeah, shit. Yeah, that yeah. joint was hard. So, and to me, like, on some real shit, I ain't saying that because y'all hear, like, that project, listen to it, even though it's over other beats, I think that's like one of the best shit I heard from like, you know what I'm saying, somebody from the city in a while. Thank that was, you. And then it sounds Detroit that. and shit. Thank you. Appreciate so yeah, that. so how y'all come about that? What made y'all want to work with each other? Like, was it just like, all right, we we got the same manager, let's do this together? Or mm -hmm. I like how you rap it. I like how you rap. 
I mean, it goes without saying. I've always been a fan of P. Dot. Likewise, yeah. you know like what I'm we saying? So been, I've been a fan of his work since I heard him first yeah. time. So it was like, when the opportunity you know, when came I, and hit yeah. the flow, it was like, why not? Like, yeah. shit, what can go wrong? Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, but but Brett Scar could tell you more about that how we how that came to be. Just go ahead, man. Talk, man. Talk, 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 talk to him. Talk to the people, man. I mean, it was real simple. <laughs> man. Uh, everything you said and more. Um, it's just an old school cheat code. You know what I'm saying? Revisiting something that's familiar. Yeah. And making it your own. And then with the whole Coney Island concept, just another way of repping the city without saying the, ge- the generic "What up, though?" Hell yeah, for the sure. Ways that people. Talk about being from Detroit. Yeah. So Coney Island is a place where you know you see somebody that you ain't seen in a while. You know, mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Break bread with your homies. You might take one of your little ladies on your first little date. Hell yeah, for sure. Right Hell now. yeah. Like, Hell yeah. yeah. That's all I'm about to say. What's the what's the yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause I'm about to say when y'all when y'all when y'all when, when y'all think about Coney Island, what's the first thing you think about? With well, me, the first thing I think about, you might pull a chick. Late nights after the club, some drunk shit. You know what I'm saying? What's the, what y'all think about when y'all think about Coney? Like chilling late cheese. night food run. Yeah, he's a uh, chilling after, cheese. Chilling after, after, cheese. I did, after I did, got me a nice little buzz or hung out with my girls and we hungry after the after. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We gonna hit Coney. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. Go get a breakfast or something. You can get, <laughs> you can get breakfast any time of the day at Coney yeah. too. You know, yeah. but yeah. either that or you know what I'm saying. Uh, I mean, that's really what I think about. Food yeah. eating lights. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure. On some chili and cheese fries. Now, now did y'all feel like cause y'all 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 did some classic over oh, some classic beats? Like was y'all like, damn, it's pressure cause shit, they they went on they went in on this so we can't come in on some soft shit, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Yeah. Like um choices. Yeah. That was pressure. Yeah. Cause I'm like, dang, you gotta touch some stacks, touch baby. Yeah, for sure. And that his his intro was just so classic. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, that one's that one, I remember and, uh, that one. I remember one. being the most nervous with that one. And uh, for me, for me, the um, it was beef. Um, oh yeah, it was beef. Yeah, beef yeah, that's was it. beef yeah, because yeah, yeah. of course notorious. You know what I'm saying? And then the other one for me was the one uh when we was going over the Lil Wayne beat. You know Spe- what I'm saying? Now speaking of, if, if I if I were to put that beat on. Would y'all be a rapid? Yeah. What was B? Yeah. Song? No, no, no. Let the beat build. Let, let the beat I mean, build. Let, what let, was that? That was, a, that was the, our yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. With the, with, yeah oh, Coco Coco Hall. Hall. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. Oh, so if I get y'all like, if I hooked it up, y'all can do that for the people real quick. Mm-hmm. Cause like I be asking niggas to freestyle, but I really hear that shit. Cause to me, that was the hardest song on there. <laughs> <laughs> I was shit. That's, that's well, I waste time, nigga. Shit. I mean, put it on. We in performance. We get a lot performance. So people can uh, <laughs> people can get a taste of it real quick, dog. Okay. <clears throat> Exclusive. <laughs> all right, then. All right. You know what I'm okay, that's what we doing. Yeah. Oh, we applying pressure. <laughs> Mic check one two. Hey. Mic check one two. You think you turn up a little bit? Mic check one two. Mm. Listen, uh, feeling like Coleman Young when he was first selected. Humble like Dennis Archer, the size of Kilpatrick. And I'm still a dog like God backwards. East side till I die, eight mile and grass it. That's where I get my name and my game from. You know the numbers that are rep, don't try to play dumb. Hey, we ain't got time for the bullshit. This just another beat that's checked off the checklist. I'm so fat, I eat my lunch with my breakfast. Club Shirley's got Miss Shirley on my necklace. Hey, last night you should have seen who I had sex with. Gave her the big show like we was wrestling. Dumb questions only get you smart answers. They say I'm sick with it, that's why my sign is a cancer. Around here we put our fists up like we bought the box Side to side while we slowly make our elbows drop Bossing up cause that's what them D-boys do I got the top off riding in my cousin old school He got so many cars he can own his own dream cruise And he quick to up the stick like a game of pool Bill Russell I'm a player and a coach too We writing history cause that's what goats do I got you sick to your stomach like bad food I stay dropping shit like I'm in in the bathroom all praises to the powers that be long live chives that's my llc stack it up like corned beef with the swiss cheese fries on the side with something cold to drink i'm coney island posted d-boy chilling got baby on the knees more than the church thinking you think this money be the reason and survey says yeah yeah i do the time to keep my mouth shut 
Christine Beatty. They say that you in your prime, now I'm prestige with it. I ride beats like an equestrian, I'm so mean with it. Strong on the bounce, Meg Stallion, I'm obscene with it. Got them seeing lights, got them swearing it's heaven, sit these niggas out of pocket. Cause the daddy done left a bit. Pick the niggas at the gate, you perping, I got your pit. I steady dropping truth in the booth, niggas is here for it. Huh. Coney Island keep these niggas trekking. I kick them, hit all balls like I'm David Beckham. I'm always shooting for the goal, winners never second. Steady aim, thrill kills ya, it's calculations. I started in the back, but I slid to the front now. Nah. They wonder how I do it, I ain't leaking my moves now. Nah. These bitches won't beef, I'm gon' play it smooth for now. Nah. When I get some spare time, catch me beating these moves down, huh? That gang shit. Yeah. Told you that shit was hard, cuz. <laughs> Coney Island, man. Coney Island. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coney Island. That shit was dope. That shit was dope, dog. <laughs> yeah, I told you, dog, when I heard that shit, I'm like, yeah, damn, they more, it, it went in this bitch and just, that's why I said, why y'all do that to that motherfucker, uh, them beats like that, dog? <laughs> they told us that we had to make it our own, man. man yeah, yeah. And we really ain't have to re-be told that, but you know, yeah, we just yeah. had to go and go make no, it our that's own. No, that's why I say a lot of people be, you know, you don't want to touch, you don't want to touch no songs like that, no beats like that, you know what I'm saying? Because you just, shit. Lil Wayne murdered that song. He you know sure what I'm saying? Did. Biggie murdered the Let's Beef. Like, but yeah. for y'all come in and put y'all own little shit in there, that, was, that shit was dope to me. So, shit. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Oh, yeah, man. for sure. On the next just one. just tell our stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when it's genuine like that, you know, just come out. You know how I do. And we just thankful that y'all, you know what I'm saying, accepting it and just showing it the love that it's been getting, man. Yeah. Because one thing yeah. I don't like about it, though, like, if you ain't like on, ain't none of this in vain. Yeah, if you ain't got if you ain't no no famous rapper, a lot of times like everybody know Cole, that's my favorite rapper, is gonna come out tomorrow. You gonna play that album, but you're gonna keep playing it for a month, weeks and shit. Mm -hmm. But when it's a when it's somebody from your city, you're gonna play that one time, be like it's dope, and then that's it. Why you can't right. go around the city bumping somebody that you know or somebody on the come up like how you would do somebody who already know, you know what I'm saying? Right. So right. that's why I can't really call nobody a real fan of music if you only gonna listen to the niggas that's known. You feel right. me? And then you gonna have a couple niggas from your hood that's gonna bang you. But if a lot of times, like me and you, we both doing music, I might not even listen to your shit just because we got the same. You know, what I'm saying we doing the same right, thing, right. and yeah. I don't want to show you no love because I feel like you think that's oh, fucking me. Oh, it's a up. lot of that going right. on. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of that. I but mean, it's enough you, room you for have the right to, to protect your energy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like yeah. you definitely don't want the wrong energy or the wrong vibe to be passed off on you. Like I'm a I'm a firm believer yeah. that like yeah. you are what you around. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got to be careful. Or mm -hmm. what you take in spirit wise, you know hey, that what I'm Christine saying? Like, line was hard though. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So what y'all y'all on the Coney Island too? Y'all gonna do the same thing? Go over some classic beats? Oh, no, no, it's all original. No, it's all, all original, original heat. You okay. know what I'm saying? We just wanted to show y'all that we it could be done, and now we about to hit y'all with all original heat. Yeah, yeah. Now let me say this because y'all y'all got y'all whole your crew and stuff in here. You got your your manager. You got your peoples in here. Uh, and then I don't know why I equate this to uh, I was li I listen to Joe Budden podcast heavy. I don't know if y'all mess mm -hmm. with Joe Budden podcast. Yeah, I didn't call a couple. Yeah, of they ain't broke up and shit. Wow. And like I, but then I start thinking about rap groups and when you come into a game or with the, with your original team, why you think like so many times it fall apart? Egos. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you could it, it could be with managers, it could be with people who you rap with, it could be with people you work with. Like as soon as the money start coming in, mm -hmm. that's when niggas start like breaking off. I think it'd be egos, egos, pride. Yeah. You know, sometimes you have to be the person that's be like, okay, Chaz, like, like a lot of the times, like, I'll be like, okay, let, let Chaz do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, some things, you know, you just got to know, like, okay, well, I, I know when to hold them and when to fold them. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. if I know it's a certain crowd out there, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, okay, let Chaz handle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah for sure. But, you know, it's, you, you know, you just know how to gauge it, you know what I'm saying? And I've never been a person that's scared to be an indie. I don't have to be the chief. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What about you, man? Like, a lot of times, then, a lot of times, I think niggas be expecting too much or asking for too much. I, I mean, mean, for me, it's like, you. every situation is different, you know what I'm saying? We've seen the story where groups have been broken up due to money and ego, mm -hmm. power and respect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then on the flip side, we've heard, we've seen the story of people just grow and be wiser. Yeah. And at the end of the day, nobody wants to sh share or nobody wants to continue to, you know what I'm saying? Like the wiser people get yeah. or the more you obtain. And then like, a lot of times when you hungry, you'll do what you got to do to get yeah, to that sure. yeah, foundation yeah. and then you'll build off of it. Yeah. Like, 
for for like one of the examples I could probably just think of off the top of my head, like Jay and Dame. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. they're not enemies, but due to them thinking so business wise, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It was it and like that people, wasn't made to be forever. Yeah, 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 like when sure. you see them now, grow, you know what I'm saying? How too. Dame got his own network, his own channel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything, and then you see what Jay do. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it's like that was never meant to be together. Yeah, forever, yeah, yeah. Dog. They, they all you know what I'm saying? Like it makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. You know, and they are not enemies. They didn't. I don't think money. You know what I'm saying? Brought them apart because yeah. yeah, I think they mindset. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. They mindset some, just grow. Some people grows. grow each other. Yeah. Some people grow you got plenty of people too. that you grew up with as a as a youngin, mm-hmm. but as y'all got in y'all thirties, and yeah. let's say she one person got you. married or yeah, this kids. other person was on their way to their third child yeah. or whatever, or a streets. lot of things, a lot of priorities, and the way that you, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a lot of priorities and the way that you think just go different you know if you the lead singer with yeah. the best voice and you sharing it three ways <laughs> and you got six baby mamas <laughs> you know what i'm saying that solo deal don't sound too bad yeah, hell yeah, right. it's sure. nothing against my guys but i need I all this, this. <laughs> <laughs> you hell feel yeah. me True. Yeah. like i know i know you got problems too yeah. so Certain you need to take some lessons and you feel me, me get to my three, lead and you he's know? playing me three kids and a wife yeah. my homies be like though what happened my like, dog i'm working i got kids i got wife they don't understand I'm doing podcast. That like, I remember that scene on. I remember the scene in the little James Brown uh movie that's the movie don't keep niggas sleep on yeah it was it's good yeah. where he was telling them it's just a name dog yeah oh yeah you still gonna eat man but it's just a name <laughs> yep 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 I'm trying you yeah. feel me I don't need y'all dog <laughs> <laughs> it's just a name, bro. Yeah. But the love, but you could tell the love was there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I think every situation is different. Hell yeah, you just gotta know the facts. People yeah. outgrow situations. For sure. so like what he said with the family. You know, it been a lot of stuff. Like say people be like, "Why you ain't come?" And you be like, "Well, shoot, I do work. I do have." A, you know what I'm saying? They think that because they sit around bullshitting all day, yeah, I get that, that you sitting around bullshitting all day too. And a lot of the times you be like, "Look, I got the same 24." You got, but if mine is utilized this way, you can't be mad at me because I choose to do this first or because this is more important to yeah. me, you know? And like you said, my brother dad, <laughs> yeah, my he brother always told dad. me, he always told me like, you are, you are the company you keep. You, you know are. what I'm saying? Yeah. If you see them being, doing shit, sitting around, not doing nothing, you, you typically, typically going to follow that trend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So once I took that into consideration, I'm like, all right, yeah, he right. Cause like. No disrespect to my niggas, I love them, but we still doing the same shit we was doing. We was twenty one, twenty two. We still, yeah. we still chasing chicks. Yeah, we still going still to the club. Still sitting on the block, yeah. first one in the store, last L- one in the for store. For sure, hell yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for real. Uh, the hood, the hood classic belly. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? How the character of Nas and DMX, like they was brothers, yeah. but when it but came yeah, time to, to two more. different things, yeah. Yeah. two different thinkers though, that I just wasn't made to ride forever. Yeah, you that's a fact. That's a fact. This nigga hate belly, dog. I love that classic, dog. Favorite movies right now. Classic. How you hate Billy? It's a classic. Look, I think I've never I think heard that they that did. Before. I think that First they of all, did. Billy ain't shit, but a long ass music video, bro. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, I, I mean, like, as I got older, nah, Billy was one. Yeah, so serious. <laughs> I'm shaking his head like. I've never. Wow. I That's would one of my say. Favorites. I would say that. Oh, baby. Instead of, of you know what I'm saying, instead of spending so much on baby oil, <laughs> think that they, baby oil you know, and black light. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, think yeah. that they should have though. made a little bit more of the budget into the production of of it all. Yeah, you know, I sure. would say that. Yeah, I, yeah. I will say that. You know? uh, but it's a good movie. Man, come on, man. It's a good movie, dog. You're talking about baby oil. I would, I would movie, definitely rather what, see What scene ain't shining? Yeah, they shining hard. I would rather watch Plug Love. And I love Plug Love. Yeah, hell Plug yeah. Plug Love, I would watch them too before I ever watch Belly again. Oh, right, man. but it's more lightning than movies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's what I say. Like, I think, I think, I think, I think the baby oil budget should have been cut just like 15%. Because they used at Y'all least five bottles of what's her name? What's, what's, what? Just all girl. Oh, yeah, she bad too. She's still yeah. bad. I was about to say, shoot, it was her and then what's the girl that killed? killed no, I that the scene. End. She was oiled up with the, with no, the shit No, that scene around. where they met at the uh, the chicken house where they both <laughs> sitting, he got the yeah. glasses on. Yeah, he yeah. was bugging. Yeah, he was shining. Man, he shining. Yeah. He was dog. shining hard. Yeah. With, yeah. with the Vaseline on his face, man. So what's what's something? Y'all so silly, man. Y'all going hard with the music, but what's something that y'all hate that y'all fuck with the with the music? Like, what's something that you hate in the process of being the artist? Like is is it the interviews? Is it the the appearances? Mm-hmm. Is it the 
studios, late nights, like, Ooh. you know what I'm saying? I'm putting I, money I into mean, it. I mean, I don't hate it, but I would just say the perception once you say you rap. Yeah. yeah. Like, before they even hear you, you know what I'm saying? They due to what's you. popular mm -hmm. and due to what's, you know, saturated around. Yeah. Just to, you know, once you say you rap, it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that just automatically puts you, you in know, the box. Yeah, automatically, yeah. like they ain't got to hear you yet or none of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so then, they just already assuming what they are gonna assume. Yeah, yep. you feel yeah, me? Hell yeah. Now one thing I was asking, I, I ain't gonna say I hate that. Though. I don't hate. Oh yeah, we'll come with though. the game. So everything you good with everything? Like ain't nothing you really just. I mean, about yeah, it? pretty much that. That I get. I get judged a lot. Right, let me ask you this because you said before you had met Brandon, you was on the verge of, of, of quitting. What, what made you? What made you uh, during that time was gonna say at that time music. I was like okay I had been doing it a while and I felt like I did enough mm -hmm. and I felt like I just wanted to live an ordinary life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I had gotten married. You know what I'm saying and I just wanted to just enjoy marriage mm -hmm. and just enjoy just being an ordinary woman. Like I ain't want to have to be worried about you know being you know being P dot. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Um, but honestly, the music wouldn't leave me alone, though. Like, yeah. Even though I wasn't performing and stuff like that, I still was getting up at night writing mm -hmm. to beats that I already had in the yeah, archives, yeah, like yeah. stuff that I already had. I it, it was a way to, to, to get my, it was my stress reliever, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So even though I wasn't performing on stage, I still was getting up jotting and writing music and you know, just, For sure. yeah, so yeah. it just, yeah. Hell yeah. Now, uh, towards the end, I, always, I ask this question, man. It's always kind of funny, like, towards the end of the interview, but young nigga thinking versus some shit I've been through. For example, young nigga thinking, I'd be like, man, I never eat no pussy. As a grown man, <laughs> that's, that's your change. <laughs> <laughs> that's your change. That's your change a little bit. Change a little that's bit. That's full face. So, this, that's just some funny shit. So, what's some, it could be serious or funny. What's some young nigga thinking versus some shit you've been through? It's just like totally opposite of how you was thinking, you know, 18 to, to right now. Mm, I got to think on That's a good ass question. You, you know. <laughs> That's a good See, question. It was a lot of situations I had <laughs> where I just told myself I'll make it back. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for so, sure. That's a real young nigga thing. Versus now, you know, I'm like, nah, rent due. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. Young yeah. nigga thinking for me. Um, everybody, my friends. Oh shit! Yeah. Right yeah. now, I fuck them hoes. Hell yeah, for sure. <laughs> I Hell mean, yeah. like you know, growing up, like you know how your mom used to tell you, everybody ain't your friend. You'd be like you can't. Growing up, yeah, nobody tell you about your people. So you yeah. like eleven. Them my friends. What? I can't see them doing that. Yeah. Or acting like that towards me. But over time, it just be like, okay, I'm better. I love being by myself. Hell uh, yeah. So, young, young nigga thinking. I actually thought strippers <laughs> liked me. <laughs> They like your money, then they give me Versus, versus grown men. Clapping that, clapping that. They got to do what they got to do. I'm keeping my ass at home. Hey, I think everybody think that shit, though, dog. So, yeah. That's a she classic. just made me think of that. Yeah, for real. I used to think, I used to think strippers like me. Like, you, I, I'm going to go see her every time. I spend a lot of money on you, Diamond. Yeah. Man, you think about it. Yeah. Like, you ain't had doorstep like, what Oh, up? Myron. Yeah, I spent a lot of money be, on you. I have a story more like, you should have saying around me last night. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, man. You got it through college and everything. He took the you whole mean? check, baby. We got to go back up in there, baby. Day shift. Terrible, we had day shift. Terrible. Dumb man terrible. say we good. He already remember me, duh. baby. I'm telling you. That's funny as hell, <laughs> dog. That's funny as hell. Now, dog, uh, I, I do this thing. Top three. I give you a category. You give me your top three. All right. Okay. Top three childhood crushes. You want to oh, say that? Oh, right. I'm talking about famous people, like, yeah. Oh, famous oh, people? Famous yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Not okay. Keisha. Hey, and, and, like, whoa. Yeah, whoa. Craig, like Craig. Crash? Thomas. Uh, <laughs> my childhood crush still is. Oh, shit. Nas. I still I love me some Nas. I met the man. Okay. Uh, and, um, Three, I only like them two, for real, for real. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. You was loving uh, Ralph Transvent? Nah, hell no, that was too pretty. See, I don't, I don't like nobody. I got. I feel like I'm gonna have to be beefing over the bathroom. Yeah, man, we, we yeah. here pushing each other. Like yeah, yeah, my like, turn, your turn, my turn. Man. Like that's too pretty. Like the, the barge, that's too pretty. Like yeah. it's too pretty. We both tweezing, we both waxing. Like I don't know. God damn, like I need man. a little, I need a little backbone, a little thug. You know what I mean? Yeah. I need some ugliness. A pinch, a pinch of ugly, but a lot of fine. You know, a lot of swag. A lot of swag. What yeah. about you though? What's your top three childhood? Oh shit. Um, number one, <laughs> yeah. number one, Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Oh, you all want to mix I mean, I used to have pictures on the wall of her. <laughs> um, <laughs> number two. So I can just think about this man. Yeah. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, number three. Uh, 
number two was uh Kyla Pratt. Hell yeah, Kyla, hell yeah. She can still get it, dog. She can still get you know it. Shit. I'm married though, but she can. Facts. You feel me? She, and she, then... I definitely thought I was gonna be with her though. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was gonna be a rapper and get with her, dog. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get her. <laughs> and then number three was this porn star uh, named Michelle Tucker. Michelle Tucker? Yeah. I might look her I up, dude. Yeah, yeah she low key. She only boy. got like nine videos all the time. <laughs> and they all throwbacks to my childhood. So. <laughs> Yeah, she was like, she is, but he like, I don't know that. But she got hit by the greats, though. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she got hit. Yeah. What's her name? Michelle what? Uh, Michelle, Tucker. <laughs> Michelle Tucker. <laughs> Michelle Tucker. Michelle <laughs> Tucker. Wait a minute. You she got hit by Wesley. Wesley. Yeah, she got hit by Wesley. She got hit by all the greats. Wesley. She got hit by all the greats. With baby, the nigga with the guns. He like tank target shit. That nigga be having all that going stuff like tank that. Right. They been like what? Wesley Pipes with them guns, boy. You see them guns. Come on, nigga, you better run. No. I'm running from that nigga. Who the fuck told you to put your leg down? Who said put that leg in the air, bitch? Put, your arms back. put that motherfucking leg in the air. Yeah, like that. Look, slap it. Yeah. Like that shit. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. 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 That nigga look like Trick Daddy. Yo, nigga look like Trick Daddy in the face. Hey, y'all nigga watch that shit heavy, boy. Wesley Punch went on the play with it. I told you. I was on punishment a lot. No. That nigga said, put the rest of Wesley. He'll tell you put them legs down. Yeah, put that arch back in there. Put that head in there. Hold my head. Like, what the hell? What's going on? Bitch, hold my head. That shit funny as hell. Wesley ain't nothing to play with, baby. Goddamn, dog. I wasn't expecting it. She was a porn star. She was a, what you call that? A G League porn star or something? Yeah, she ran into Wesley. She went straight to the top. Her run was great. She had a short run, but it was great. Wesley probably took it early. Yeah, she retired early. She said it was the run was short. You know what I'm saying? She got, she was, she actually just used the porn for the money to further her education. Hell yeah. And once she got her, once she got that degree, she got the fuck out. Now she an entrepreneur. With several different businesses. Oh okay. uh, man, funny as hell. All right, give me y'all. Uh, you gotta sacrifice the wolves. Give me y'all top three fools, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, top, top. I should have said that for last, dog. I know I wasn't expecting that to happen. Wesley. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give, give, give me y'all, cause I like y'all. I don't want to do no top three no more. Man, give, give me he even went to fool. Now yeah. we still thinking give about that. Top, give me your top three uh, fools. Hmm. Burgers, ahead, burgers, pizza, and nachos. Hmm. What about the wings? Yeah, that go. I mean, it's like <laughs> the one way. Okay, so we so we talking Pacific foods, yeah, or are we talking like a category, uh, just Pacific food. Yeah, like my go my go to would be like burgers. Um, I always can go pizza. Probably, probably, yeah, the wings, bur burgers, wings, and nachos. Okay, what, Man, what about listen, you, P. Uh, I'm, I like seafood. I like fish. Hell yeah, I love some um, shrimp. Man. I like some good catfish. I like some good crab legs, lobster tail. I'm, a, I'm yeah. a seafood eater. Hell yeah. I like, I like it. Yeah, right. red snapper, definitely. That's my number one. Y'all yeah. ain't got hip to that red snapper? Yeah. Y'all missing out. Get some red snapper. Oh, y'all gotta get hip there. Yeah. Get you some red right, snap. Yeah. We usually use that for a different time. No, no. Yeah, that, but but that. It's it's snapping two different oh, ways. Yeah. <laughs> two yeah. different. Get some snap, though. Man, all right. Give me y'all. Give me y'all top three moments in life. Mm. Top three. Good. Bad. Good. Was was that one stick out? <sighs> What's your eyes? What's the top mm. three? Probably when I graduated high school. Um. Probably doing my first ever uh, major show at 14 at St. Andrews when I wasn't even supposed to be in there. St. Yeah. Andrews. Got like, that was classic. a very memorable night. Um, nah, that, I can't say that. Uh-oh. Yeah, I can't <laughs> I'm say glad that. he called himself a <laughs> um, <laughs> What was I, Did I just say Top two? Three. Yeah, you yep. just gave two. Um, and then the third... Uh... Uh... I don't know. Wait a minute. I gotta replace one. <laughs> I gotta replace one because, and they both really at St. Andrews. Yeah. Cause like, like I say, my first show, fourteen, like was like the first like hip hop show where it was actually audience and my first time performing and everything, mm -hmm. like in front of a major crowd. Yeah. You know, outside of like recreation activity. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that was a that was a big moment. Of course, like my high school graduation, but I really don't. I was late. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we got to ex that one. Yeah. But it was a memorable moment, yeah, though. Yeah, Get yeah. your education, stay in school, everybody. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> After school program. Right. Um, 
and uh, open up for Slum Village. You know what I'm saying? Okay, when yeah. I got the opportunity to open up for Slum Village to be on the same bill as them, yeah. Fat Cat, Guilty Simpson, Quest McCody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had got that opportunity through Uncle P. Yeah. You feel me? So that was a big, memorable moment. And I was like, I had did that performance on one leg and nobody knew it. You know what I'm one. saying? I don't know, bro. It was like, <laughs> I don't one know leg. if I broke something in, in like in, in the bottom of my leg. Dude. But like, when I got the news, dog, I had to like I literally couldn't walk for yeah. like five days. Damn. I literally couldn't walk. Like I was in the crib, and then I'm like, bro, I'm not missing this show. It's yeah, over. fuck that, fuck that. But man. it was Shit. a day after my birthday. You know what I'm saying? So on my birthday, of course, I don't want nobody to think that I'm hurt. So I'm yeah. just. Going about normal activity. Yeah. I didn't went to CVS and wrap my leg up. Yeah. Got some uh spray and oil and <laughs> all, all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? The hit uh grams with the muscle relaxers. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> uh, you know, and um I did that show, man. I did it. And I ain't complaining. I won bit. That's what's up. But it was painful though. Man, hell no. And I was numb at one. Like, I was so numb. <laughs> Hell yeah, all that shit getting put in your leg. Got that leg over here. But I'm proud of it. I'm proud of that moment. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud that I just got through that. But still to this day, I don't know what I did to my. I don't know. Duh, duh. I, duh, I, I this don't leg. know. Like, fuck, I'm going to put some dub tape on this shit. It's self healed, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say, God won't do it. What about. You know, you don't need St. John. Oh, yeah, hell duh. Well, especially when you got no assurance. You ain't about to pay that three, four hundred dollars for to wrap your shit up. <laughs> what about Send you? you some ultra. Hell yeah. What about you, P. Doc? Some tussing. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll say one of them was when I opened up for the Brat, okay. uh, Little Scrappy in Trillville. Um, another one was when I got flew to New York to um, audition for Rock Nation. Okay. And most recently, my most memorable was I just did a feature with Trick Trick, so that's a big one for me. Oh, that's what's up. Hell yeah. And then the radio spin, that was a big moment yeah. too. Yeah, we got oh, yeah. more than three, honestly. Yeah, the radio like, spins because they uh, coming Coney to me Island. Yeah, yeah, Coney yeah. Island is on regularly. Like, we thought it was just going to be like, okay, but yeah. now they like, phew, 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 it comes yeah, on every day. Yeah, that shit hard. That shit hard. Thank you, man. Now, we always end off drunk moment or high moment. Or both. Ooh. A funny story when you was one. I never did one without or the both. other. All right, yeah, give me a, give me a, give me a, a story that you could just think of real quick. That's a funny moment from being fucked up, man. Damn. Too many, dog. Uh... <laughs> it just gotta involve them too. I mean, what is, is, if it's not drug, then all night, dog. Go ahead, go ahead. Let us know. Give us that story, <laughs> shit. I want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> just a fucked up moment. Go ahead. Man, I can't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. It was Look. a crazy night, man. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, white girls and cocaine? <laughs> I do have a story <laughs> that involves oh, that. Shit. <laughs> Shout out to LA. <laughs> um, I'll say, man, um, I was probably like 14 going, I was 15. Mm -hmm. And it was New Year's Eve. And I had some cousins that lived around the block. My my girl cousins, my my uncle, he had just you know got him a new boo boo and stuff. So <laughs> he was like, "Y'all can go ahead and stay here. Y'all can yeah. go ahead and stay here. I'm gonna go on over there with Dolores. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Dolores. Dolores. Yeah, her name was Dolores. You know what I'm saying? They married. You know what I'm saying today. But he was like, "Yeah, I'm going over to Dolores' house for New Year's Eve. Y'all can go ahead and stay here." So when he said that. Everybody just looked at each other like, "Word, like we about to get the house." You know yeah, what I'm saying? Hell yeah. My oldest cousin was eight, was seventeen. So you know what I'm saying? That was when we used to have, you know, I had money. All of us had some bread. We called our friend across the street, couple girls. Like it was all girls in the crib. We went to the damn liquor store, man, and bought so much <laughs> drink. Do you hear me? Different shit. Like, we had, <laughs> we had shit. Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> we had Wild Irish Rose. We had like, Crooked Eye. Oh, we, we bought some of everything. Like, soon as, like, we convinced the dude that my aunt, that my cousin was over, that like, she was 21. You know what I'm saying? He, he looked at us like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was like, come on, man. We got money. You know what I'm saying? As soon as we said something about money, he was like, y'all go here. Hurry up. Right. <clears throat> Get all that junk and our stupid asses, right? Come home, you know, go to the house and we, you know, you remember the one time cameras when you taking it, you taking it to develop. Yeah. We taking pictures with this shit, right? We taking pictures of everything. No. In front, I'm talking about all the drinks on the table. We posing and caught ourselves having the fucking pictures, man. The next day, I was so fucked up. When I woke up, it was like bodies 
all in the house. Mm-hmm. Like somebody was in the up. kitchen, somebody was in the bathroom, in the tub. Like we was just, it was bodies everywhere. Man. My mama came, my mama came over. So I'm like, I shook it up like, boom. I'm like, yeah. She like, see, my mother was very, very smart. Like I used to be thinking that she ain't know what's going on. She like, come on, ride to the mall with me. Yeah. Boy, when you know when you hung over, you need to lay down. Hell Listen, yeah. Every she store we went in, I was on the fucking floor. Like we went in Walmart, I was on the floor. Like, boom. <laughs> People like, excuse yeah. me. I'm like, y'all just, just yeah. go on over. Go. Just, I'm get, told, my mama, she go. knew it. And then she told me later on, like, I knew you was drunk and I did that shit on purpose. Hell yeah. But she kept it from my uncle, but my uncle, he he wears some thick ass glasses. This you know to make to make your eyeballs look big. Yeah, yeah. Man, he found them fucking pictures. I don't know how he found them, but he did a spring cleaning. I think Yo, and we thought we tucked them. Man, my uncle was like, "What the fuck is this?" Like he was screaming through the house, and we come in like, "What's going on?" He showed us them damn pictures, man. Y'all, that motherfucker just. Man, my uncle was so heated, man. He was sweating. His afro was all <laughs> crazy. Glasses fogged up and shit. He called my mama. Hell, man, as hell, man he boy. was mad as hell. Like, this is what y'all do. <laughs> we like, damn, I mean, we like from 14 to 18. Like, what the fuck you man. thought? You left us the house on New Year's. You better be glad some niggas went in here. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I think you'd rather see us drunk yeah, than a whole man, bunch man. of niggas in the crib. Yeah. Like, it could have got know? ugly that mug. Could have got physical. Yeah, he banned me. Yeah, he banned me from the house. He banned me. He put me on I couldn't even come play with my cousin. He put my cousin on punishment so long. He was like, family included. Like, y'all can't even come see her. Damn. Like, we was we was banned from the house and everything. That was funny as hell. He was so mad at me. Like, every time he saw me, he just rolled his eyes at me. Like, yeah. I know it was you. I'm like, how's me? I'm the youngest out the bunch. Like, but I'm, I, I can influence everybody to get yeah. fucked up God. drunk like that. That's funny as hell, dog. They took my allowance money. <laughs> so, what you, what, what, what's the wild story you got, bro? I don't even think we got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think you got time for that story. It was a short version. You be doing too in. much. <laughs> All right, I just give you a recent. I just give you a recent event. He this said this, recent. this wasn't too long ago. Um, I decided to uh, eat a whole book bag of edibles. Oh right? shit! Oh, yeah, yeah, it was full of shit. <laughs> it was just a bag, a party bag. You know Damn. what I'm saying? I call it a party party pack. So I decided to eat the whole little bag, right? <laughs> you so, breathing. <laughs> so like um you know throughout the day you know niggas already sipping you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying so um you know i had a little moment where i'm up there like <laughs> you feel me yeah. you know that ride because yeah, like yeah, for sure. you can't get off to the sofa baby. you feel me <laughs> this is back. the decision you have made <laughs> you know this is something you gotta live with you know <laughs> So we there, you know? Yeah. And um <laughs> I get a <laughs> I get a bright, you know, I see I see a store and I get a bright idea to go into the plasma C uh SL. And oh, I'm in that bitch looking for a TV. <laughs> Bro, plasma like the blood don't it? <laughs> Cuz I'm thinking it's a TV show, baby. <laughs> but you can't tell me that bitch don't look like a buy, uh, Best Buy though, dog. No. <laughs> the one on 8 Mile in Greenfield, cuz you can't tell me that don't look like a media uh outlet store, dog. <laughs> That nigga was high. Cause I go Who up in that, that bitch like with the, with the angels. I think I go up in there like that. What y'all got the, the sixty twos in the back or something? Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> they like what you mean? Duh. Cause the whole staff laughed at me, dog. I just had to walk out. <laughs> I would have laughed my head ass off. I just had, I couldn't even say nothing. Yeah. I'm like I'm like so y'all so y'all they get blood in this bitch. <laughs> blood and teeth. I'm serious though, like. <laughs> I, I know I'm laughing now, but I'm serious though. Like they get blood in this bitch, cause. <laughs> like, yes, like, cause you gonna get, get blood. Duh. <laughs> like I'm at, like you gonna get blood, cause. <laughs> like, no. you know, you get that? <laughs> That's why all you like you here to get blood too. No, all of them. So y'all ain't got no TVs in this bitch. No. Like I got loud. Like so y'all mean to tell me I ain't got no I TVs I in this bitch. I would've just fell the fuck out of here, bro. Like I gotta be dreaming. I'm no. thinking this to stop. I'm thinking this the number one spot, baby. No classic TVs in that bitch. Classic. No. The parking lot they got it. I got. I want to start like a boycott or something because they gotta change that, dog. Change the name. Call it a blood bank. <laughs> Simple and plain, dog. Plasma. plasma. <laughs> when, y- when I say plasma, what you think of? 
I mean, I think See, I'm, I'm nothing but TV. Oh my god! Oh no, we say I think about TV. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, maybe because I never done it. You know what I'm saying? I never done it, so I really didn't I know that it was really a real know. thing. Yeah. No, like that's what I'm saying. I didn't never know that it was like a I real think, thing. I think so. Hey, you know what, what, what TV is that? Session for like, TV. You know how, <laughs> like you know how. Like you know how when the because I because I can mean I seen the commercials. So you know how like when the. St. John commercial come on and everything about the little cancer kid or whatever. Yeah. That's how I used to look at the blood donor commercials. Yeah. Like, it's just something to advertise this to try to give you a soft heart at the moment. Yeah. But I didn't know this was a real everyday thing. Like, nigga in there, like, baby, this is my fourth time today, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fourth time today. <laughs> I'm pay him up for the bill off real quick, man. Shit, I'm trying to set a record. You man, silly, man. That's goddamn funny, yeah, man. Yeah, motherfucking edibles had you up So, uh, yeah, you it's know, stuck. but I ain't, I ain't, you know. Yeah, he was up and stuck for that. Hell yeah, he, he they was. They probably up. talked about you for a whole week or two. Hell like, yeah, you know, the topic of discussion, though. Like this nigga can't. Luckily, I, I got out before they pulled their phones out because one definitely started. Like, Let me get this dumb ass. <laughs> Dog, I'm like, dog, I'm like, I just had to put my head down and walk out, dog. Like, man, I can't believe they really ain't got no TVs in here, dog. Man, yeah. well, shit, man. I appreciate y'all coming on this motherfucker, dog. <laughs> Funny as hell, man. <laughs> Terrible, what can they, uh, what can they follow y'all? Find music, and all that good stuff, dog. Oh, okay. You can follow me on Instagram, p dot music, p d o t m u s i c. Uh, follow everything from my videos, new releases, old releases. Press Kid Bio. Go to www.gang.net. You can download Coney Island 1 for free, Problem Child 1 and 2 for free. And uh, tomorrow we'll be releasing Coney Island 2. So, you know. Oh, shit, tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And the live stream of concert is tomorrow as well. But, um, you know, yeah, follow me there and follow me on Facebook at P. Dye and Pamela P. Dye Willis. You talk to me, I'll talk back. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm about to follow y'all boys. Well, lady and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah, I'm almost so used to that. Yeah. All right. What up, though? It's your boy Chaz. You can follow me on IG at 3269Chaz, C H I S E. You can also check out my Facebook, Chaz D Boy Mason. Um, if you don't want to do that and want to go to the one stop shop, you can check out my official website, dboysound.com. You know what I'm saying? Where it got all my videos at from my very first one to my most recent, which is Crown Royal Diary. It got all the music from the Club Shirley Project to the Coney Island uh, free download. Uh, Chop Suey with Merch Music. Shout out to him. Uh, something special. My physical mixtape that was never released. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of good things on there that you can update yourself on. For sure. You know what I'm for saying? For sure, for sure. Anything y'all want to end the people off with, man? Don't do drugs. Some shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> tap in tomorrow, yeah, though. Stay Another healthy, Seven man. Mile Radio page to tap into our live stream. We're going to be going live at 7. Stay From healthy. Nine, Keep your mind right. Coney Island 2 live stream oh, yeah. concert. Make sure y'all tap in with us there. Find yourself ordering a possible Whopper with bacon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hell yeah, do man. Do what the fuck y'all want to do. Hell yeah, shit. <laughs> Ladies, don't get dicked down by Wessie Pipes because it's not going to hurt. <laughs> I don't know, Wessie. You see a nigga with guns and two guns? Run. Hell yeah, man. Shout for everybody, man. I'll let y'all. We Save all the just walls. say like he comes to the hood. We got to kill that nigga, dog. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs>